there mortals, I'm Jensen, welcome to Supermarket Simulator. I played this a while ago when I was complaining about the government, and now I'm actually going to have a good crack at it. We're going to start a brand new game, and we're going to fire into it. Now, this I have been waiting for this game, essentially, to stream it for a wee while now, simply because we have had so many updates to the game, it's actually pretty crazy. Uh, I'm going to get some chocolate, get some sliced bread, get some of this. Uh, can we afford this? No, we'll have to get rid of one of these things. Now, I do know that there is a bit of a meta to the game, and I kind of already know what it is, which is essentially if you get lots of big ticket items and then you just sell those, then you make a higher turnover because you're not diluting the potential profits of what you could be making with anything else. Now, I'm going to stock all of these up onto the shelves. Actually, why am I even... Let's just throw the box on the ground like an absolute idiot. Uh, we'll set these to even numbers as well because it makes uh, the checking out significantly easier. Average cost. Okay, let's make it six bucks. Done. Excellent. And now I want to pick this up. Oh, I can't pick it up. I'm too busy in a tutorial, apparently. Wow, this lady's actually shopping heaps. Okay, so she wants 10 bucks change. Sure, you can have it. Now, I do also know a little technique for the checkout here. If you give her... If you just take the money and hit the space bar, Usually you can look at the change and then think, oh, I don't need to give him any change. All right, and this is why we are doing the um, kind of, the, the way that we just said that we're going to be doing our prices, which is uh, very even numbers, to so make this minigame significantly faster. Okay, good. Objectives, perform checkouts. Sure, I'm just going to move this up against the wall here really, really quickly. Hello there, Mr. Punisher. Would you like a bag with that? Who gives two hoots? up with the sound let's go ahead and just crank that back up if we can where is the sound there is no sound that's strange oh maybe it's like a uh, sorry I, I think i may have turned it down in my sound settings volume mixer maybe all right let's take a look yep it is all right let's crank that all the way back up good done Okay, so, it wants four bucks, sure, done. Now piss off. Excellent. We'll come out here and I think we'll start, the checkouts are full my ass. Oh, whoops, that was me. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, that was my fault this time. Uh, let's go ahead and just hit the space bar. No, he wants four bucks. Weirdly enough, this is an American game, right? And I took a trip to the US. Did anybody actually know that there are $2 bills in the US? You can, you can get and use $2 bills in the US as legal tender. Why don't any US games ever allow that? Ever, like, even acknowledge the fact that $2 bills are even real? Is that just a meme? Is it something that I'm missing? I don't know. I'd say. Okay, I'm going to get out of the checkout. We are going to order ourselves a couple more things. Like maybe, I don't know, some oil and some... Powdered sugar. Let's do that. That should be fine. How much do we need? Uh, we already bought it, I think. Okay, this lady wants two loaves of bread. Fair enough, honestly. I like bread as well. Done. Go away. Excellent. Oh, I don't think I actually ordered the food. Did I even add it to my cart? Whoops. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, we'll get an oil and we'll also get a sugar. Good, we can definitely afford that. Easy clap. Okay, this guy's buying out the entire store. Let's go ahead and just start stucking all of these on shelves as well. Now, they did add AI into the game, which is just absolutely fantastic. I do love when developers go that far into their games. And it's kind of mandatory these days, especially when you get into these simulators. Okay, good. I'm going to set the prices right here to three bucks. Sure, why not? Make it a significantly easier to check out. This one is also going to be three bucks. Done. And before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and change the name of the stream because it is no longer Cry of Fear. Supermarket Simulating. Good. And the game is Supermarket Simulator. The hell? There are so many games with the word simulac uh, sim uh, supermarket in it. Okay, done. Excellent. Okay, so we just fire back into here. Oops, forgot to bring up my streaming software so I can't see chat. We'll keep on going. We'll keep on going as we were. And we got to just blast through sales basically as fast as is humanly possible. He wants a dollar. Here you go, buddy. A couple of loaves of bread. There you go, lady. 
And four bucks? Sure. Enjoy eating! God, I wish I could do that here in this economy. We will go into the market and see if we can't buy anything else. I don't think we've sold any flour yet, so we'll add that to cart and the pasta as well. And the reason we're doing different things every time is because we want to set the prices for them in advance. Because once we get to the point where we just want to start uh, getting in lots and lots and lots of uh, orders at once... Oh, you bastard. This guy just took a bunch of pasta. Two bucks. Sure, done. We'll kind of like set the prices regardless of whether or not we'll actually be using these items in the in the future anyway. And it doesn't actually matter, matter uh, whether or not we serve these customers. They will literally wait there until the end of time. Two bucks. Profit of $1.21. Yes, please. Good. Okay, this guy's getting a couple of things. He gave me the exact right amount of money. Good on him. This guy is buying 12 bucks worth of food. That's our first guy to buy in the double digits. Pretty good, actually. This uh, rather pretty looking lady with the... Um, Uncanny Valley Eyes. It's got three things as well. Nine bucks? Sure, done. Awesome. So we need a few more of those. I think 100 of these checkouts and we get ourselves the ability to hire our first cashier. But the thing that I'm pretty excited about is that something was actually added in the previous patch, which was... Where is it? Yeah, probably market furniture. We go all the way down to the bottom here. Where are you? Uh, where the hell are they? Checkout counters, no, none of those. Oh, strange. This, Yeah, here we go, self-checkouts. We got self-checkouts now. So these guys can literally do all of the work for us. We'll pass the work on to the consumer, which weirdly here in New Zealand actually does work very well. Uh, also, let me go ahead and change the music because it's a little extreme for what we're playing. How about the new you bop you lose? Andy Black's The Shadow Side. It's probably a good idea. I love this album so much, by the way. A lot of people know this guy is just kind of like the vocalist of Blackfield Brides, but he's significantly better than people give him credit for, especially in his solo work. Okay, so we now have another 64 buckery booze. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some more of this cereal. And we'll also get more of the sliced bread, because it's actually kind of popular. Done. And every time we buy something, you'll probably have also noticed that we gain points. Oops. Yes, she bought our last bread loaf. Excellent. Whoops, I think the checkouts are full. Uh, let's open it. These guys are just going to wait. They're just going to wait and please take a box of cereal. Or not. We don't actually have enough room on the shelves for this. All right, I'm just going to throw this on the ground there. No one's going to take it either. It's an honest economy. Uh, she didn't give us the right amount of money. She wants four bucks. How did she give us nine dollars in money? Taking money back. Why the hell would I want to take money back? Oh, I see. She gave us five and she bought four. Gotcha. Yeah. One dollar. Excellent. And this guy gave us the exact right amount. This guy wants two bottles of oil. That's weird. I wonder what he's going to do with those. Probably rub them on his muscles so that he looks really, really good when he lifts weights. Some people at my gym have started doing that recently as well. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird when people actually start rubbing oil on themselves inside of a gymnasium. Okay, so that should be good. I don't really want to hit the lights, but I'll turn them on anyway, just so that we can see what we're doing. Usually I just leave the lights off, because I'm a heathen, and I just deal with the darkness, because you have to pay for the power in this game. All right, this checkout's closed. Checkout's a fool. And just get rid of the whole, uh, what the hell? Uh, what? Huh? Uh. 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 Um. Well, that was quick. The game's broken. <laughs> oh my god! Everyone, get out of my store. Okay, I'm just, I'm just telling them to piss off. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, we closed early, which is going to cost us a little bit of money, but at the same time, should be absolutely fine. I'm also pretty sure the lady who picked up that cereal there uh, got away with it too. Excellent. All right, so probably want to restock up on the pasta, I think that is. I think that's pasta. No button to crouch, so it's actually really hard to tell. Let's go ahead and just get some uh, spears as well. What do we do with saving up for the next, what's it called, license, which would allow us to get ourselves 
The next kind of like tier of items. Hello there, lady. Two boxes of cereal. Nice. Okay, uh, she gave us the... What the hell is going on with this till? Oh my god, it's actually broken. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe we actually broke the game on day one. Isn't that insane? I've never seen that before. Maybe this new update broke it somehow. I'd say. Okay, we'll fire it back up. Hopefully the rest of the game isn't going to be like this. Wow. Made with Unity. That's the problem right there. Should have made it with Unreal. I mean, it's overkill. It would certainly be overkill, but... Man, it would be pretty, wouldn't it? All right, we're here. All right, good. Uh, uh, what? Uh, huh? It's now nighttime. Okay, the day is over. Okay. We're open? My boxes! No! Okay, that's good to know, actually. We don't actually need to throw those boxes away. We can just, uh, we can just restart the game. Okay, we need some pasta. Let's go ahead and just get some. Boop. And we'll also get some more of this Chocopix cereal because it's it's a big ticket item. And also this oil right here. Can we afford this? No. Probably just need to make one more sale and then we're all good. Come on. Come on, everybody. Come buy your overpriced crap. Probably want to change the name of this place as well because it's not a supermarket. Management? Customization. Oh, we need to upgrade the store apparently. That sucks. Okay, what are they getting? Oil! Good choice. That's expensive. Just two bottles of that? Sure. Okay, she wants four bucks. Done. This lady got a lot of bread and some cereal. I bet she's loaded. I bet she's loaded with cash. Okay. So, now that we got that out of the way, we are three checkouts away from getting our quota, by the way, for the, for the tutorial. Other than that, we don't really have a hell of a lot to do. We could probably just... Do we actually buy the the gear? No, not, not management. We'll go into the market. No, we did not. Okay, we'll purchase it. We'll give ourselves a job. This is what we're doing with our time now. Okay, we'll throw this here. And I'm just going to throw this on the floor over there in the corner. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, now we've got the cereal. I'm going to open this, restock the shelf, throw that in the corner as well. And this one here with some pasta. He's not going anywhere, by the way, so... It doesn't really matter too much. Just put that down. Throw that in the other corner. Hello there, sir. What are you buying? Two bags of flour? That's weird. What do you need that for? <laughs> I'm trying to vet him for terrorism. I don't know what he's buying the flour for. Six bucks? Sure. Done. Piss off! Nice. Good. So I'll come straight back out here now. What else we got? So we can probably take a look at the licenses under management. There is this one here for bottled water, cheese, dark coffee roast, and black tea. Those two are actually kind of worth it. So we probably want to just make the sprint for 200 bucks, right? Okay, this way was 44 bucks change. Wow. What a dick. What an actual dick. Okay, good. She gave us the right amount. Nice. Okay, we'll let this guy buy his cereal too. Bye-bye, uh, sir. I think that was Barack Obama. I couldn't tell, though. I didn't actually look at his face. It was just, like, right in the background of my peripheral vision. I just assume it was the um, ex-president of the United States, Barack Obama. Because who else could it possibly be? Okay, let's not restock anything, it seems. Still need a bit more flour. Okay, Barack's back for a little bit of bread. Well, that was quick. There you go, buddy. Bye-bye! Okay, so the next objective is actually to purchase a product license using the computer. That's pretty funny. Man, this early game is actually quite slow, isn't it? I thought it'd be significantly faster. But it seems like it's not. There only seems to be, like, one person who could potentially be coming into our store on the entire map right now. Which is kind of weird. Oh, the Punisher just came out of an apartment complex as well. Can we go in there? No. Okay. I did try. I did try, it just didn't work. All right, this guy's gonna buy a bunch of crap as well. Come here, guys, what crap are you buying? Just this bread? That's fine. What did you give us? Too much. And this guy, lady wants a lot of bread and a bit of flour as well, just in case she runs out of the bread. Maybe she just likes... She likes refined wheat products. Maybe that's what she's all about. 
So she's going to eat all of that bread and then she's going to start on the bag of flour. Or maybe the other way around. Maybe she'll have the flour as an appetizer. Kind of disgusting if you ask me, but... You know, I'm, I'm not really here to judge my customers. I'm only here to wildly speculate about whatever they're... Whatever crap they're spending their money on. Okay, let's go ahead and continue filling that up. We'll throw that on the ground right there. Hello there, sir. Thank you very much. Piss off. There we go. I told him to piss off, and that actually worked. We don't really want him to overstay his welcome in this... In this delightful establishment. Okay. What do we need to replace? We probably need to replace a couple of things now. We need more flour. We need more bread. Flour and bread. Sure. Done. Go ahead and open this up. Bread, flour, and we buy. Awesome. Let's start stacking this up. Oh my god, we now need pasta because this lady just bought it all. Selfish, much. Good god, lady. Do you want to leave some for the rest of the, the rest of the city? Okay, slam all that there. Throw that in the corner. Oh, she got some sugar as well. Good for her. Uh, she wants a dollar. There you go. Uh, this lady's got lots of sugar. Good grief. I wonder if she knows how bad it is for you. Probably not, honestly. Okay, good. And eight bucks. Done. He's off. Bye-bye. He's got his little lumberjacking shirt. Not doing a hell of a lot, but he is buying some good stuff. That's not what I clicked. <laughs> At least the game hasn't broken today. That is nice. That is a... It's a nice touch when the game doesn't break. Uh, what are we out of? Pasta. We need more pasta. Probably get a couple of bags of pasta, honestly. We'll get two bags of pasta. Done. Now, dump this all the way down here. Awesome. Throw that in the corner where it belongs. And we'll open this one. We'll throw that in the corner just so we know what's in it. Hello, lady. You buying something? Let's turn the lights on. What's the harm? Okay, she's getting a billion bottles of oil. Excellent. Wow. <laughs> what a weird shop. I wonder if she's going to be dipping that bread in the oil. Maybe she's making French toast. But she doesn't have any eggs. Or maybe she uh, lays her own eggs. That'd be weird. I don't want to think about that. All right. Bye-bye, government man. Thank you for listening to my weird invasive thoughts. Okay, we've got a some twit and a bow tie coming in now. He's buying a loaf of bread. Wow. You shouldn't have. Get out of my store, Captain $2. What an asshole. If we had tomatoes, I'd throw them at him. I don't know how we'd get tomatoes, though. Wait, is that it? Oh, no, we've got this lady in a lab coat coming in here. Gee, her shoulder's all messed up as well. She's only getting a couple of loaves of bread. Why is she so sweaty? Eww. Brother, ugh. Bye-bye. I wonder what her deal was. Maybe she was carrying a bomb around or something. All right, this weird looking guy here is also gonna buy a bunch of stuff, five bucks worth. Yuck, these guys are peasants. Okay, this lady here looks like Katy Perry and she's buying lots of pasta. Good. Thank you, Katy Perry. Katy Perry's gonna leave us alone now. Okay. So we probably want to restock everything. We need bread, sugar. We probably have those, don't we? Yeah, we've got, we've got both of these things. Okay, we don't have much bread. And we also need some sugar, which is the only thing we don't actually have, hilariously. Okay, let's end the day. And we'll go into the next day. Because the reason I'm ending the day before we restock is because we can't actually do anything with a computer. All right, we'll go into management. Still can't buy this here product license, which is a little bit of a shame as well. What's our bills like? $2? Sure, I'll, I'll do that. Rent? I don't want to pay that, so let's not do that yet. Market. Okay, so we need sugar. and We'll get two boxes of it. Done. And we probably also need another box of oil and some more bread too, right? How much is this? 69 bucks? Love it. Let's spend that. <laughs> Good old 69 bucks. Okay, bread goes first. We'll go ahead and pack this shelf up and we'll throw that in the corner like an asshole. And we also got more bread. Let's open it up. Sure, why not? <laughs> we got more oil too. Open that up, throw that in the corner. What's this? This is sugar. That is the one thing we do not have stocked. Okay, let's throw that in the corner over there. What's this? More sugar. Let's open it up and we'll throw it. Good. Seems like there are more people are coming in here at the moment, though. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, whoops. 
Oh, no, the change needs to be... No, it needs to be three bucks, not ten. We almost just lost, like, four bucks worth of sales. Okay, good. And she wants 13 buckery booze. Sure. Done. Get out of my store. Excellent. I hope these people are appreciating the branding that I'm going for, which, which is basically just, like, offensive slang. You're going back to the days where, like, dairies and, and tiny corner stores had a monopoly on the entire economy. You know, before the days of big business and, and big factories and stuff, where the shopkeepers could get away with saying any kind of slur to their customers and they would absolutely uh, be able to get away with it because there was nowhere else to go and get food. Again, I don't know why they didn't add $2 bills to the game. They do exist. Well, maybe it's just because they're really, really hard to get. So it's unrealistic that a shopkeeper would have a bunch of them on hand. What's that? Bread? Sure. Done. Uh, Chocopix getting low. Pasta's getting low. Let's grab this here pasta and we'll start restocking this one. Excellent. What else do we want to restock? Uh, probably the oil next. Wherever that went. <laughs> I don't know where that went. There it is. Yeah, let's do this oil because it's... Whoops. Okay, we can definitely restock that. Lovely. Uh, that is full. What was down here? Was it... Was it the flour? I think it was the flour. Do we have flour? That's bread. No, I don't think we have any flour. Ah, well. We'll serve these people. Oh, that's why. That lady just bought it all. Eight bucks, sure. Down the hole. Excellent. Uh, this guy wants five bucks change. He's lucky he gets it. There's two people that look identical to each other right next to each other. That is really weird. I would probably call the police on this. Or at least try and bust out of the Matrix. One of the two. They also both paid by card. Okay, we'll get some more flour because we actually do need to get some more flour. Done. And we bought it. We're pretty close to our $200 goal. Not in the sense that we are financially close to the $200 goal, but we are pretty... Like, if the demand keeps on going the way it's going, we're definitely going to reach our goal pretty damn fast. Go ahead, just fill up all these extra shelves that we're not using. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll sell a bit better. I'd sell. Okay, good. And we've got a huge stack of sugar. I'm just going to stick it all up here. Done. Let's throw that on the ground because we are done with it. And this is bread. Let's go ahead and stick that there and there. And we'll put some more up here. Nice. I don't like just utilize what we have. Oh, we've also got another bread. Great. Love it. What's this? This is empty. What's it doing in the full side of the, of the, of the area? Okay, we've got two people. One of them here is the government. That's hilarious. What is the government buying? The government is buying sugar. Good to know. Might want to invest in sugar if that's the case. Good. What did he get? He gave us a hundo. Oh my god, what an asshole. What an actual asshole. 86. Was that one of every note? There you go. Piss off! What a dick. What an actual dick. Okay, we're up to 84 buckery booze, and I'm probably not going to buy any more stock until we hit the 200 bucks so we can buy that license for the, the next few bits of food. We're also going to need to be able to afford them as well. We're going to need to stock them, but I remember coffee being a really, really big seller, and tea is basically the exploit for getting store levels. Essentially, you get 20 units of tea in a single order for yourself. And people come in and they get the tea and they go to the checkout and you get plus five points uh, towards your experience for having the item that they want. And you lose one point for having items that they don't want. So if they came in for tea, bam, you've got everything. How the, how the hell did this lady give us three bucks? We had to give her a dollar change for three bucks. Anyway... Uh, so that loss of one point is actually absolutely fine because the volume in which you can buy the tea just sustains that progression, regardless of whether or not they're buying anything else. Go ahead and just flick the lights on, I suppose. All right, we're at 119, which is actually pretty high. And we've gone through a lot of stock. Though we do have a lot of stock kind of on the shelves right now. Anyone else want to buy any crap? What about this lady with her cleavage hanging out? You want to you come into my store and buy some crap? You're kind of not walking in a straight line. I imagine you're about to. Oh, there we go. Nice. I knew she was coming in. She had the look of a pathfinding AI. She's getting some sugar. She's getting some bread. And that's it. Okay. Well, thank you for your patronage. And, and, and thank you for the view of your cleavage. Come again.
Hello there, dickhead. What do you want? All of this stuff? All right. Piss off. Oh, I'll give you change. Fine. Go away. Okay, what does this guy want? I love how they come in here with their own paper bags as well. That's pretty funny, honestly. This guy's getting a heap of stuff. And he's real sweaty too. Maybe he's trying to, like, fit in. Maybe he's not a human whatsoever. Okay. There we go. I don't think he is human. I, I think he's actually an alien or a skinwalker of some sort. Yes, ye nailed Lushi. And I feel like maybe he is uh, trying to fit in, in in the greater society. All right, that guy got a bag of flour. That's nice. What's she buying? The last oil? That's weird. She's getting even more oil. Okay. That's not so bad. Honestly, I'm okay with selling this guy three bags of pasta. Okay, this is a, a slightly stranger shop, but she is buying in volume, so I'm not really going to complain too much. Uh, we are 25 buckery boos away from our target. This lady got two bottles of oil. That's really weird. I wonder what she's going to be doing with that oil. She also can't really... She looks like she's crapped herself. I'm going to go ahead and just like... Look at that. She's walking like she's crapped herself. <laughs> <laughs> what is the oil for? The mysteries! Please tell me, lady! All right, fine. <laughs> the day is over. <laughs> oh, she did actually crap herself. I'm certain of it. Okay, good. So everybody should be coming in now. This lady, I'm pretty sure, is going to be coming in the store. What's up with your haircut? Oh, it's a ponytail. Yeah, it looks great. When it's not, like, undulating. I can see that. I can see the gyration of your ponytail, lady. Weird. I don't think it's supposed to be doing that, to be honest. I mean, I'm no expert on ponytails. I'm not John Key or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure that the ponytail is not supposed to violently shake as if it's having an epileptic seizure. Wow, wow, we wow. Look at this lady's wallet. Nice. Stick it on the credit card? Don't mind if I do. Credit cards never took off here in New Zealand. They just never did. I don't know why people use them, to be honest. In fact, when I was in high school, I received education over time, which was like, hey, let's talk about finances, and then let's also uh, compare that to people who get credit cards, and this is why uh, they are always in debt and stuff like that, right? That's that's all the education that I got. Okay, this guy got a bunch of stuff. Five sacks of crap, nice. Living buckery booze, sure. What about this lady? Three sacks of flour? Cool. Thank you. Six bucks. Nice. Uh, let's get that product license right now because we desperately need to. It's not a product, apparently. It's a license. Okay. We'll get this one here. Done. Excellent. Purchase a fridge or a shelf. Okay. I don't really want to do that just yet. We actually instead want to go to the market. Want to buy ourselves some coffee, I think. Yeah, it's very expensive. We can't afford it yet, though. We're going to have to sell a couple of things. All right. 14 buckery booze. Done. And this guy... He looks uncharacteristically low poly compared to everyone else. See? That guy clearly looks like the Punisher. Not the John Burnfall one, but definitely kind of like the um, the other one. The one back in like 2002 or something like that. All right, I'll check this guy out anyway. Couldn't find the flower. Is that why he looks so low poly? Weird. 12 bucks for the Punisher. Bye-bye. He's even got the skull on his shirt. We're actually serving the Punisher. That's crazy. Okay, we've got a man in a tuxedo here. I wonder where he's going at 12 in the afternoon with two loaves of bread. He's off to a really expensive sandwich party, I bet. And he wants to bring his own bread so he can save money, which is honestly not that bad an idea. Usually when I go to a restaurant, I tend to uh, bring a packed meal as well, a packed lunch. People invite me out. I'm like, hell yeah, I'll go to that expensive restaurant for you. Uh... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pack some lunch. I'm going to pack some beef jerky in case I get hungry. I don't know what you guys are going to be up to, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be... I'll order a pizza. <laughs> Have Uber, Uber Eats sent a pizza over to my house. <laughs> no, not my house. Over to the restaurant while I'm sitting there. That'd be hilarious, honestly. I've kind of done that before. Like, in the, in the age before Uber Eats and Deliver Easy and DoorDash and all that stuff, we... I had these two pizza places here where I live in Dunedin, New Zealand, who lived right next door to each other. That was Pizza Hut and Domino's. And I don't consider Domino's really to be pizza, but they were cheap and my friends were broke. So uh, we ended up eating there quite a bit. I once paid Pizza Hut to deliver a pizza next door to me 
while all of my friends were in there eating a pizza and I, I got my pizza and I ate it with them and the guys at the cashier just like stared at me. They were like, what the hell, man? Come on. Uh, obviously, they didn't do anything because there were a bunch of paying customers right there, but, you know, kind of funny. <laughs> I don't think anybody cares about their jobs anymore that way. You know, usually people are all like, oh, that's like, don't do that while I'm working here. But now it's just like, do whatever you want. I don't care. I'm not paid enough to care. The world's changed. Okay, this lady gave me a 20. Annoying. What else we got? Got some cash here. She wants two bucks cash. That would have been perfect for a two dollar note. Let's go to the market. We'll buy ourselves some coffee dark roast and we also want some tea. Look, 20 items. Oh, no, it's, over, it's over my shoulder. You'll just have to trust me for it. Uh, 110 bucks down the drain. Oh my God. And we are broke. Good, let's go ahead and start stacking this on shelves. Put this over here, I think. All of this tea. There's a lot of tea here, honestly. Good down. Now, what is this going to cost? It's going to cost six bucks each. There you go, lady. <laughs> She's like, oh, that's cheap. Goes to the cash, the cashier. What? Six bucks for a box of bougie artisanal tea. Well, actually, that's fair enough. Here in New Zealand, that'd cost you around about 30 bucks. A uh, bag of coffee here in New Zealand actually costs around about 12 bucks. But we're going to we're gonna go 14. Market price, 10 bucks. Ah, that's way too low. Okay. We'll start checking this guy out. Thank you very much. All right. He couldn't find the coffee dark roast. Wow. This lady bought a lot of tea. She probably knows a bargain when she sees one. 1.25. Sorry. 1.025. Done. And this guy's got bread and anger issues. Great. Let's go ahead and just get him out of the store. Piss off, sir. Good. Hello there, sir. What are you buying? Coffee this time. Nice. 17 bucks. <laughs> coffee is a big ticket item. Honestly, I think we're just going to get lots and lots of that. We'll get lots of coffee, lots of tea, and probably lots of chocolate cereal. Probably makes the most sense. Good. And that should be all of the kind of like the pantry stuff done and dusted. Good. He couldn't find the flower. I don't care, to be quite fr to be quite frank. Okay, let's go for more of that. In fact, we probably need some more cereal. Let's go ahead and just get another two boxes of cereal because we need to. We actually do like the cereal. It sells for a fair bit of money. I'll go ahead and stick it here. And we're probably done with the low ticket items at this point because now we can just coast on the other big ticket items that we have. Excellent. And we'll go ahead and get these two boxes of tea. 12 bucks. That is still great profit right there. Excellent. This lady just wants some coffee. Okay. Go away. Thank you. We're probably getting pretty close to closing. Okay, that's definitely empty. What about this one? That's definitely empty. Gotcha. Hello there, sir. How are you today? Do you want some coffee or tea? We've got billions of it. It's too expensive. Okay, we're going to change that price then to 12 bucks. Done. Profit's not great anymore on that one. In fact, it's the lowest percentage, but still, highest turnover. 50, 20, 10, and 5, and 1, 1, 1. Done. Two boxes of tea? Sure. Uh, he wants 88 bucks. Why are these people paying with hundos? Uh, my God. <laughs> you can't find the milks because we don't sell it, you twit. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, they can't really find what they're looking for, but they're still absolutely fine on account of the fact that they are still giving us experience points. And we're actually more interested in the experience points in this early game right here than we are in anything else because we want to be able to get up to this hiring phase right here where we get a cashier and even a restocker. But you can see that the required store level for these is probably offensively high. I don't, I don't want to talk say anything bad about the developers but they clearly do not understand the progression of their own game like this is this is a shameful amount of time to spend like 200 checkouts as well that's obscene <laughs> it's absolutely obscene especially for somebody like me who has restarted the game every single time a patch has come out that added something new all right good this guy's getting a bunch of stuff, actually. That lady just bought the last of the uh, non-cereal. Good, good. What did you buy? I don't know how much that was, but we did get it. Good. 
And we're going to have to punch a number in here. 27 bucks. Nice. Awesome. So now money is not really the issue with us. And we also haven't really been paying our bills either. In fact, we probably maybe pay some of the bills. Rent. Okay, we'll pay rent. Done. We did it. We actually paid bills. I can't believe this. That's insane. We could probably actually take out a bank loan to increase the amount of... We'll do that, actually. Let's do that right now. We'll take a... What does it cost? 25 a day. 5 a day. 25 a day is pretty reasonable, actually. Daily interest is 0.01. What? That's insane. Okay, let's make the daily payment 37 bucks. Because we can just pay this off early. Yeah, we'll pay that off early, honestly. So, let's go ahead with our huge, huge stockpile of money. We'll uh, serve these people. And then we'll expand out the store, because we can afford to do so. All right, 50, 20, 10, by 1, done. This lady wants a bunch of tea and coffee. Bless you, lady, for your $36. Yes! Okay, now this lady wants two bits of cereal. That's fine, I suppose. We probably shouldn't be selling food anymore. Though, to be quite honest. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves a fridge. Hopefully a really big one. Yeah, let's get a real big fridge right here. And we'll paint it default color. I don't know. We probably won't get too deep into the... How about red? Dog dick red. Uh, let's go ahead and buy this. I forgot to do so. Done. And we'll leave it outside despite the fact that anyone could take it. This guy gave us... Why is everyone paying with a hundo? Stop! Okay, we want to get rid of that last 20 right there. Five and three ones. I mean, we're probably at the point where it doesn't actually matter if we're a couple of bucks off of change. But it is what it is, you know. Now, the objective that I have for this game is that I kind of want to get to the end game achievement, which is kind of like to... What is it? you got to own all licenses, I think. That's, that's how it works. So that's how we're going to gauge it. Good. This guy's got a card. Nice for his 12 buckery booze. Thank you very much. Couldn't find the sugar powder? It's because we don't sell it, you dick. How's our stockpile going? Okay, let's get ourselves some... Some things. We'll have to get ourselves some more coffee and some more tea. Probably two bips of it. Two bips of tea as well. And we're also going to get a couple of fridge items as well. So we'll get the one with the highest unit price, which is eggs. Yeah, it definitely appears to be eggs. Four packs of eggs. I think that's definitely going to be what we want. That should subsidize everything just fine. This is eggs. Great. Let's go ahead and stock this in here. Now, the reason I went for the eggs is because they have the highest yield price as well as the highest um, stock value. We've got four bucks per tub. Now, it's not going to be a huge ticket item, but it is going to be a very quick seller, I think. And since we can move them all in volume anyway, it just kind of adds to the tea and coffee that we already have. Good. So I'll dump eggs into here. I know that diversity is probably a good way of kind of stimulating lots and lots of sales. A lot of eggs all of a sudden. Haven't picked up anything else so far, even though that's probably what we need to be restocking. Go ahead and take this right here, this coffee, and we will stock this on this shelf, I think. Right there. Drop that on the ground because we're not really interested in doing anything else with it. We'll throw all of this coffee down here too. Probably should have got like four boxes of that. I think someone was about to say that the cereal is too expensive. Oh, poor baby. <gasps> poor baby. Let's put all this tea here at eye height so that people don't really have a choice but to look at it. Nice. A little bit of, uh... A little bit of, uh, psychology right there. Keep forgetting to pick these up. Okay, I'll drop this all here. Very good. And... We want to throw that on the ground. Okay, good. Check this guy out for his two teas for 12 bucks, which is still a bit of a steal, honestly. Two boxes of cereal? Great. Just the right amount of money as well. Okay, she wants a dollar. Good. Excellent. Two packs of eggs is going to be four bucks. Or a six bucks. I forget. Okay, she has 14 bucks worth of sales. Nice. And this lady has... Oh, she hit some goodies right behind that cereal too. 36 buckery booze. Great. Love it. Uh, we're going to need more chocolate pick cereal very, very shortly. Wow. Seriously, lady? Lady, it just gave us a 50 for a single pack of eggs. What an asshole thing to do. What an actual asshole thing to do. I think these two ladies over here are stuck. Oh, well, not my problem. Let's go ahead and get more chocolate pick cereal, and we also want more coffee. More coffee! Done. 
And we're just going to absolutely fill the shelves up, I think. Uh, let's just, I don't know. Actually, let's put all of this on the shelf beneath it. Maybe that'll unstuck everyone. It did not. In fact, it actually, I think it made it worse. I think this other guy here is, is now stuck in the limbo of where is the cereal? Okay, don't even know why I put it on that shelf. I knew that the box was basically going to be empty. Okay, I'm going to throw that on the ground over there. We'll turn the lights on so we can see what we're doing. And we'll pick these up and we'll dump it onto this shelf down here. Good. And our box pile is getting pretty impressive, if I do say my, so myself. I'm going to drop all of these here. Done. What do you guys want? Pack of eggs? Seriously, lady? Okay, she gave us the right amount of money, though. This lady's got a credit card. Excellent. Done. And coffee. He wants a dollar change. That's absolutely fine. He could find Ron sliced bread. That's because Ron doesn't live here. I'm just going to cut my losses with these guys here. <laughs> Let's just cut our losses. We'll close the place. Okay, I don't know what they were trying to buy, but they... It didn't really matter. It didn't really matter, matter in the end. Okay. So, we still need to purchase a new section using the computer to expand our store. Can we do that? Floor. Apparently not. Management? No. Licenses. Bills, growth. Growth? Yes! Okay, we need 350 bucks. And that'll give us a bigger floor area to work with. I had the stream on in the background, I came back to this, and I'm mildly confused. How come? Overdrive 19. Oh, is it because we were playing a horror before, right? Yeah, there's only so much horror that I can really get through without kind of, like, getting too desensitized to it. I don't want to get too desensitized to it, especially when it's good horror. So, uh, I moved on to another game, Super Mario Simulator, which is currently in a pretty good state. It's just had another update, which is really like the, I don't know, fifth, sixth this year? It's pretty impressive, honestly. Okay, no one's on the streets at the moment. But yeah, we're just going to be running the supermarket right here. And hopefully we're not going to be running it into the ground. Hopefully we're actually just going to be running the damn thing. Okay. Okay. We got one guy coming in. I don't it, uh, I don't want to say Cuba Gooding Jr., but he kind of... Oh, it's too expensive. Poor baby. Get out of my store. Oh, is it too expensive for everybody? Why is that? But it's so undercut. Okay, we'll set it to 11 bucks then. Done. That's still a big ticket item. High turnover still means high profit. One of these sales is still like three boxes of sugar or three boxes of flour or stuff like that. Right. But nothing else to do, honestly, until we wait for these guys to come in. We did all of our restocking basically straight out of the gate. I'm surprised that this game has gone on as it has been so far. It broke, like, the first 10 minutes we were playing it, too. This game actually looks really good. It is really good. It's a really, really good game. And it's being updated fairly regularly. Unfortunately, there are many, many competitors to this game that have kind of, like, started making their own version of this game. And I hate to say it, some of them are being made faster than this one. This one's still in early access. But it is still, by definition, a fun game. It's still good. It's basically a weed shop without those jokes that get old after about 10 minutes. And also without the insistence on swearing. There's one thing I, did, I really didn't vibe in weed shop. Two or three or one. How is it still expensive? What is the market price for this? The market price? Eight bucks! It costs seven! I'm not changing it. Nah, piss on that. I already lowered the price once. I'm not lowering it again. These guys can just cry in their Ferraris for all I care. Alright, we got 200 buckery booze. We need 350 to get the next section of the store, which we should be able to get. Okay, we've got a couple of very wealthy people coming in here, very confused at what they are looking at. It might be the placement of those shelves. I'm not entirely sure. May Wait, what if we just, like, move the shelf? Like, say, here. Okay, that guy's just broken, which is a bit of a shame because he was a he was a, a, a big ticket guy as well. Oh, 28 bucks though. Wow. Ladies buying heaps. What about this one? Not a hell of a lot, but still better than nothing, honestly. Still got a lot of eggs to sell. A lot of coffee, a lot of tea, a lot of cereal, a lot of big ticket items. I don't know if maybe we just buy some other items to kind of like attract people into the store because it does seem like the sales are tapering off, doesn't it? 
Okay, let's go ahead and get some sliced bread. We'll get some flour. We'll get some powdered sugar. And we'll also get some oil. Oil is probably going to be the best idea. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and start. Oh! <laughs> All of our stuff just spilled out onto the ground here. Okay, that's a whole box of oil. Uh, sugar, sorry. Throw that in the corner over there. We'll deal with that when we have to, honestly. I don't really want to have to do anything with that pile of boxes because I know the cleanup is going to be absolutely awful. <laughs> it's going to hurt the back, if you know what I mean. All right, let's jam all this bread here. This guy's given up on trying to purchase some cereal, it seems. But that lady hasn't. That lady hasn't given up whatsoever. Uh, we'll put that there, and we'll also dump all of this bread on the shelf right here too. Done. We'll throw that over there so we don't have to look at it. And we'll also go ahead and stock up this here flour. Very good. Dump it all down and throw it all down. Good. Uh, this guy's got two packs of eggs. Awesome. That is good for us. Excellent. And this lady gave us the right amount of money. Nice. That's a first. This guy uh, just paid with a hundo. Again, that's really annoying. Oh, well. At least we got sales. Nice. He hid all the good stuff behind those boxes of cereal. Couldn't find the oil? Don't care. The tea's too expensive. Oh, well. Watch me give a hoot. What is this? This is sugar. Let's go ahead and stock this up topside. Good. And now we'll throw that box in the place where the sun don't shine. I think is where we should probably call it. Okay, that guy actually just gave us four bucks. Nice. Okay, we'll go ahead and stick the oil up here because people are now physically complaining that there's no oil to rub themselves in. Okay, this guy got a single loaf of bread. What an asshole. Get out of my store. You are literally taking up space. It cost me money for you to breathe my ear. What a twit. This guy looks like a meth head, but he's also wearing kind of like what looks like an atom on his shirt. What a guy. What an actual guy. He paid with a hundo too. Maybe I was a little bit mean. Good. Okay. Imagine walking into a supermarket and seeing a pile of boxes like that in the corner. I know, right? It's, I know how it, it's probably going to eventually spill out onto the shop floor, but that's not really my problem, to be quite honest. <laughs> it's not. It's not a. It's not what one would call a me problem, if if you know if you catch my drift. Yeet. <laughs> it is a mess, though. It's an absolute mess. I'm happy for it. Uh, we'll go ahead and flick the light on while this lady literally holds money at us. Uh, she wants six bucks change. That's absolutely fine. There you go. And let's go ahead and start getting all of the rest of this stuff. How are you feeling, Overdrive? I think last you mentioned you were feeling sick, right? Have you recovered yet? I was catching a cold at the time as well, and I've definitely recovered. And on top of this, I'm still buff. So, feels good. Feels real good. I've gone up in the leg press as well. I'm now at the point. Yeah, I'm good now. That's awesome to hear. Awesome. The, if there's anything I can't stand in the world, is two things. One is time limits imposed on video games. Like, why the hell would you ever bother do that? And the other one is being sick. Because uh, I'm immunocompromised. And being sick usually lasts for a month or so. Whoa, this lady is buff as hell. Yes, anyway. Uh, I'm now leg pressing 325 kilograms at the gym. Which is insane. And I've still got these skinny ass legs. Every time I go in there and I start loading plates up, people look at me as if I'm about to hurt myself. And then they watch me do four sets of six at 325. And they're like, what the hell? This guy's smoking crack or something. Cheer it around, my dude. Share some crack. Okay, we're almost closed. It's derived exam, so since I don't have an exam today, I'm at home. Oh, I see. Okay, that's awesome. Well, maybe not. I found exams to be really, really stressful when, when I was a kid. From any time other than my last year in high school, because that's basically when I'd given up on, <laughs> on life and succeeding and stuff. Because I came from a real small farm town, I kind of realised that, um, you know, uh, the world is not all about education anymore. It's, it's, it's essentially run by a few people who are going to get the job with the qualification or not. Like, you could call it fate in a way. You know, I kind of lost a lot of faith in the educational system. That, and I stopped going to, to school at around about 18, and I started going to our public library anyway, and I turned out way smarter than any of the other people I went to uh, school with. Aside from my best friend, Carl, who hilariously also left that school that we went to uh, early. Okay, we'll start the next day, and we are open. Done. Gorgeous. Okay, so we can now afford the expansion that the game is insisting we buy, Despite the fact that it may actually harm us in the end. We got 400 bucks in the pocket. That's pretty good. Okay, we bought this. We did it. 
Tutorial? What, what more do you want from me? Probably my life. It probably wants my life. Okay, let's go ahead and... Actually, no, let's organize this different to how I usually put it out. Let's stock this here. And this one can go out this way against its back like so. This is going to look real nice. Pardon me, sir. I am trying to organize my store. Uh, and this right here, this is going to block the eyesore that is uh, the pile of boxes. <laughs> uh, the education system is pretty bad. It needs lots of changes that I don't think are coming in anytime soon. Yeah, it's pretty... Like, here's the thing, right? If, is somebody privileged enough to understand that New Zealand's educational system is about three years ahead of America's and two years behind Germany's, I also feel like there are so many issues with our educational system, mainly the social issues, because it now seems like uh, people who are quite young are getting really, really upset about things like gender. Like, uh, you've now got seven- and eight-year-olds thinking, oh, what gender do I want to choose for when I grow up? Even though they can't pick their sex. Their gender is something that they can definitely pick, and schools now encourage them to think about it. And I think that is massively detrimental to society as a whole. Like, if you feel uncomfortable in your own body, that's absolutely fine. It should be a personal journey. But if you are grooming children to expect that this is going to be an important thing later in life, you probably should not be a teacher. That is not something you should be teaching whatsoever, in my belief. Like, at least wait until high school, where it becomes kind of like an awareness thing and not just like a, hey, let's do it for homework. Let's pick a gender. Because that's kind of uh, what our, our country here in New Zealand is going towards, unfortunately. It's just massive social issues, honestly. Okay, so we should probably actually restock on a lot of the things that we don't necessarily have, which would be... Okay, it's not coffee, not tea... And it's not the cereal. The cereal's actually kind of sandbagging us. I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. I think he's trying to find an angle to grab something, but it's not quite taking. Okay, let's take his money. You can have a dollar change and you can piss off. Good. Although, thank God I didn't grow up in Germany, right? So I, uh, like, I've got nothing against Germany as a country. I probably would have 100 years ago. I, d I don't have anything against them now. But their educational system is so strict that I would not have succeeded. I'm a naturally intelligent person. I coasted on uh, my intelligence until I was about 16. And then my school started leaving me behind after I kind of got a learning disability from, a, from an illness that I sustained when I was about 14 years old. And it just kept on getting worse and worse and worse. And my school was like, well, we're not going to give you any support. In fact, actually, we're going to put you in the uh, stupid kids class, uh, which is going to further reinforce that you are, in fact, a stupid kid. And, uh, like, for my last year at high school, I turned up to the first month of my classes, right? My teacher, for my English classes, my last year of English classes, turned up one day. One day of any of my classes. He was an absolute oaf. Because <laughs> he was also the, uh, I think it was the hockey coach as well. And he was not very good at his job. Uh, he was a better hockey coach. So uh, his kids got left behind and stuff like that. When it comes to gender, it's something that can only be discovered once you're like 12 to 14. I say this is someone who's gender fluid. Exactly. Exactly, right? So when it actually becomes necessary to be a choice, I think at that point, people should be thinking about it. But uh, before then, it's completely unnecessary. Ah. I'm just going to move the green screen because I just saw it clipping in. I, I saw a clip clipping in. There we go. We've had German exchange students, and yeah, wouldn't survive Germany at all. It's so... It's such a meritocracy over there, isn't it? I dated a German for a, a good four or five years, and we broke up uh, simply because we had different personalities, but ultimately, the things that I learned from her, I still do. Like... Oh! Uh, the university standards here in New Zealand are what she was learning in high school when she was 16, and that blows my mind. It absolutely blows my mind. So I feel kind of bad for, um, oh no, we've had that bug. We've had that bug where the, where the game breaks. All right, everyone, get out. Okay. I don't think this is going to fix anything. Okay, fine. 
We need to, yeah, we need to close this off and, like, shut it down because it's just bugged out. We've lost a day, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. It's uh, piss off time. Piss off. Go away, everybody. Bye-bye. I don't think we can keep on going, can we? Okay, we can, actually. That's really, really nice. It's just bugged out functionally. Okay, 18 bucks. Good. And this lady is going to be buying tea and also eggs. Good for her. Good for her, indeed. Uh, this guy wants a dollar change. So, um, the girlfriend that I had, she was uh, pretty insane with her intelligence. She came here to study at our university paleo-oceanography, and she wanted to be a paleo-oceanographer. I have no idea why. I don't even know how that thought would have crossed somebody's mind leaving high school. You know what I want to do? Paleo-oceanography. What's that? I don't know. But I'm going to go to another country to learn it. <laughs> okay, apparently we can't close early. We better just open up and hope for the best. That was insane. Good relationship, though. Good relationship. Still friends with her. Okay, so... Doesn't really look like there's much else we can do. We just kind of, kind of, like, outlast these weird bugs that are now coming into the game. I don't know what that far one is. I don't, I don't know what that bug is. Oh my god, look at this guy right here. Mr. Moneybags, thank you very much. 18 bucks, I take all of that back. He only bought all of the crap priced stuff. What a dick. What an actual dick. Right, what are you trying to buy? I think he's trying to buy the cereal. Let's just get a box. We'll take the cereal off of here. And we'll put it here. Is that fixed it? Yeah, that fixed it. Okay. Done. Good, let's go ahead and check him out. It's a shame, because he would have bought some big ticket items as well. It's a real shame. Excellent. A lot of the German culture stuff that I learned from her also kind of, like, stuck as well. Like, whenever somebody buys a house, I always buy them bread and salt. Like, just as a hard rule. Always buy bread and salt. And the reason for this, there's been two reasons that I've been given by Germans. The first one is that the bread is for eating while you cure your meats. And the salt is for curing your meats. Uh, the other thing that I've been given is that the bread will stop you from starving for the first like week that you're in there until you get paid for the first time. And the salt is to exercise any spirits that may uh, still be lingering inside of the house to haunt you. Which... <laughs> There's not like a, a more yin yang kind of <laughs> kind of myth, right? All right, good. Products not found. Ten. We only got ten satisfied customers. I don't really care about that too much. We fixed this bug over here. That was kind of weird. Uh, we probably want to restock, right? So we've uh, actually our big ticket items pretty much golden. Yeah, pretty much golden. We need flour. We need oil. We need pasta. We need bread. We need flour, oil, pasta, bread. Flour, oil, pasta, bread. That's not what I want. Flour, oil, pasta, bread. The hell? Flour, oil, pasta, bread. Bread, flour, oil, pasta. That's what I need a bit backwards. Very good. All right, awesome. So, whoa, oh, I bought too much. That's embarrassing. Let's just start dumping all of this. Okay, that can go there. Throw that in the corner right over there. Good. We'll grab this oil. Because somebody just... No, he didn't take all of that oil. Came close to it, though. I'm going to put all of the oil here. Hopefully that's not going to bug the game out. Hard to say, though. All right, more flour. Dump all the flour up here. Excellent. And I'll dump that there. Whew. Good, and let's go ahead and check all of these people out. Good. Ten bucks. Sure. Wow, these guys are absolutely just broke as hell. I feel like Pokemane saying that, though. You know, when she had those cookies that were just, like, really, really expensive and there were almost none of them in there and the taste was was kind of bad and stuff like that? Yeah, I, f I feel like I'm that person now. Okay, I'm just going to stuff all of this into the into the shelves. And this one as well, bread. Okay, we'll sell some bread, I suppose. Let's go ahead and stick it all down here. And then we'll throw this box over the fridge. Go, be. And now we want to check these people out. They're not really buying any of the expensive stuff anymore. I wonder why that is. There's got to be a reason. I don't think there is a reason, though. This isn't King of Retail, which means we don't really have access to any of the analytics or anything like that that we ordinarily would have access to. 
This guy gave us another hundo. That's a jackass. Yuck. At least he only had notes. Okay, this guy's got three bucks worth of food. Good. She couldn't find the bottle of water. She bought a bottle of oil, though. Maybe she's going to drink it. Maybe it's for drinking. Okay, good. Maybe everybody here drinks oil. Maybe it's like a cultural thing. I probably shouldn't shame anybody for it. Okay, that's still glitching people out. Is it like the very bottom one? It might be the very bottom shelf that's glitching people out. Let's find one of these skinny boxes. Nope. We've actually got some oil right here. Uh, if I just get all of these onto this shelf, maybe that'll do it. That actually fixed it. Okay, good. So it's that bottom corner one that keeps glitching people out. Gotcha. All right, I'm happy with that. 15 bucks, sure. Drop that into the bucket. I love drinking oil. What are you, a car? <laughs> what are you, a Toyota Hilux? Okay, uh, awesome. $2 change, love that. I love when someone comes in here and empties their wallet. It's exactly what we want. Whoa, look at this guy's suit. Good gravy. He slouches like crazy though. He's got real bad posture. Oh, you're going to Ford Coffee. Why are you wearing that suit then, my man? You literally look like you own a mansion. Okay, he wants a dollar change. He gave us nine bucks in notes and then wanted a dollar change. If he had no two dollar notes, which are a thing, they are a thing. I think people are going to argue with me on this one. Like they are actually a thing. I have used them. I have used them for legal tender. Awesome. Gave us the right amount of... Stuff, a couple of boxes of cereal. Thank you there, Mr. Punisher. Let's go ahead and boop. There we go, done. They're just not a thing here in New Zealand. We don't have $1 notes here. Okay, I think this is becoming a bit of a problem because the frames are starting to dip. <laughs> I think it might be the thing that's bugging the AI out. Maybe we want to fix this sooner rather than later, right? Okay, this guy wants 40 bucks. That's fine, that's an easy one. Okay, so what do we need for another employee we need quite a bit okay piss on that how about instead of that we just go ahead and we buy ourselves a self checkout counter right here we should probably actually do that right i think that might be a good idea i think that's a good idea we'll get rid of the checkout that we have here and we'll replace it oh this guy actually just gave us three dollars in notes I've never heard of a $2 note before. No, they definitely exist. You can uh, They're actually a thing over in the US. Uh, I went to a, a currency exchange place here in New Zealand in anticipation to go there. I exchanged 400 New Zealand dollars into the... It was pretty generous as well. I got about maybe 250 No, 280 I got about 280 back. And there were 10 $2 notes in that stack that I got. And I brought them over to... Uh, my girlfriend's dad, Yinset's dad, who is American, and he looked at the stack of money that I had, and he was like, oh, where did you get those those $2 notes? Apparently, people look them as kind of like a novelty, so I didn't really buy anything with them when I was in the States. I just, like, slipped them into the tip jars of all the, all the places that I went, knowing that seeing a $2 note in real life is probably actually more valuable than just, like, some guy giving you a, a 3 to $4 tip instead. Like, my tip was was novelty. <laughs> it wasn't financial. And I don't know if that's, like, rude in America, but I don't live there, so I, I never deal with the consequences of it. Every single place I went, I just kind of knew that I was never going to go to ever again. Most likely. Except Taco Bell. Taco Bell I actually went to a bunch of times because they did $2 tacos, which I could have probably sustained myself on per permanently. Four bucks a day. Here in New Zealand, if your dinner costs any less than 10 bucks... It's, it's actually impressive. It's, it's very, very pr impressive. Oh, great. They've all bugged out again. God damn it. Maybe it's the shelf entirely. Maybe it's the division of these items here. I mean, I can't kick them out either. That's the issue. It's really dark in here. Let's go ahead and flick the lights on. Uh, we need eggs. Let's actually just restock. Eggs, we need. Eggs, we need coffee. We need tea. We need oil. No, we don't. We need coffee, we need tea, we need eggs. Let's just get those. Coffee, tea, eggs. Coffee, tea. And we also need some eggs. I'm going to get four of them. Four eggs. Four packs of eggs. Done. Spent all of our money. Oh, look. A customer. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Look at this customer. Good grief. 
18 bucks though. Okay, that's kind of crap. Ah, oh, good haul for her. Not so good for me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and restock these eggs. I'm going to push past that man who was just buying the eggs as well. All right, shove that over there. I feel like we're probably going to get this game to crash before we can get staff. Because I know that the reason I'm not like uh, just throwing these boxes into the bin where I should be throwing them just out here. And it would be easy for me to do so because I'm running next to them anyway. The reason I'm not doing that is because there are employees that now pick up the boxes and then throw them into the trash. So I'm just going to stockpile them and see how much we can get before we actually get that employee. All right, 16 bucks. Thank you. Piss off, sir. Wait, he gave us 16 bucks and then expected a dollar bag. That's a dick move. Or it's a power play. I literally cannot tell. All right, let's throw that one over there. And it's in the void. Uh, we've got more eggs here. Nice. Just dump them all into here. Very good. And throw it up and over the machine so that we don't ever have to look at it again. We've got some more coffee down here. We'll just fill out these shelves, I think. Done. We emptied the box too. Throw that over the wall. What is this? Pasta? Sure. Let's talk this. Why not? We need a lot of kind of like, not necessarily big ticket items anymore, because we have big ticket items. They're just not selling very well. So I think probably our focus should be better spent on getting some, maybe some kind of like very high yield items. Like the oil. The oil would attract people into the store very, very easily. Okay, let's just throw that in the corner right here. Or not. What's this one? This one is eggs. Good. Let's throw some eggs into here. This is going to be the egg fridge. Excellent. Good. You, you've heard of a sperm bank. Now you've seen the egg fridge. Let's end the day. Nice. So we've got 200 bucks. After paying off loans and debts and stuff as well. That's pretty impressive. Okay, let's look for a long box. So this oil is not really doing any good for us right here. Let's try and stock it on the other side of the shelf right here. Okay, we've got one more in the box. Let's put it here. Hopefully it's not going to bug out. It probably will, but what's the harm? Uh, we are closed. I didn't hit open. That's embarrassing. Please? Okay, thank you. We're out of the tutorial now. How far are we from the staff now? We're still pretty damn far away. We're three levels away, and we're also 30... Ah, 30 checkouts left as well. Let's just go ahead and see if we can't get ourselves a bank loan. No, we can't. All right, so we probably should be paying all of these as well. Total debt, 900. Oh, we haven't been making our repayments. That's pretty funny. Okay, that's all of our money gone, but that's absolutely fine. We've made payments enough. Good. Uh, let's get this pasta. We'll get the credit card. Four bucks. Awesome. Piss off, lady. Nice. Love that. And this guy right here is obviously going to a formal function too. Let's go ahead, grab his crap and four bucks. Piss off, sir. Piss off. I don't want to see you again. Now, we need 900 bucks. So we can get that, what is it called? The uh, self-checkout, right? And basically just fill the store out with those. But we're probably pretty far away from it. I also just squirted water all over myself. Okay, good. What are you buying? A single tea? Really? Wow, with a $50 note. Okay. These guys are really rude. Like, it's one thing to give someone a $100 note. Just a single $100 note when you're buying like a $3 pack or something. But it's another thing entirely to then give them the amount of money... That is exactly the value. And then additional money on top of that. Like you buy 15 bucks worth of stuff. And then you give them like a, a 25 bucks in notes. Two tens and a five. That's just rude. Because then they just look at the amount of money that you gave them. And they give you the note that you already gave them back. So it should be a little bit of shame in doing that. Okay. This guy is getting bread. Good for him. You get that bread, sir. What about this lady? Dressed up like Cruella de Vil. Oh, she can't afford coffee. Ah, oh. Make a coat out of... Lap uh, no. Dalmatian skins then. Oh, she's actually getting other stuff though. It's pretty funny. It sucks that she can't afford the coffee. Watch me give it... Watch me give it hoot, Cruella de Vil. She's getting the tea though. It's a big ticket item. Good. Done. And this lady wants eggs. 
Good on you. She's a bit too old for it, though. I don't think it's going to work out in her favor. <laughs> this is a hell of a mess. <laughs> I don't know if it's like despawning boxes when we get more of them. Oh, sorry. Hello there, sir. I didn't quite realize I was standing on all of your produce. What have you got? Seven bucks worth of stuff? Sure. Go away. I don't ever want to see him ever again, quite frankly. We're done with him. What about this guy? He's getting some eggs. He's getting a lot of eggs. Good choice. Whoops, that was weird. Apparently I wasn't actually engaged in the machine. He gave us 14 bucks. Nice. Exactly what we needed. That's, see, that's not so bad. It's not so bad when they actually give you what you need. All right, good. I think we should probably... Okay, hear me out. We should probably make early repayments of the loan, right? Because we're just going to be spending too much in the long run anyway. And the loans, we should basically just be using them as a tool to kind of get some items so that we can sell more stuff, essentially. It should be that simple. In fact, we could probably actually do with uh, selling some bottled water, maybe, would be a really good idea too. Because they come in huge packs, which would get people into the store in the first place if they wanted water, and then they'd probably buy something additional too. Maybe some big ticket items. This guy's clothes are clipping through his shirt. Weird. Weird indeed. Okay, this guy literally gave us the correct amount. This guy wants us to use a credit card to pay $3 off. Is that actually a thing in America? Do people actually spend $3 on credit cards? Because the only thing that I can think of that would incentivize a credit card is, you know, rewards points. Because that's a that's a big thing overseas. We don't necessarily have that here in New Zealand, but we we have the concept. And unless you are already filthy rich, you won't get enough rewards points before they expire to actually make a difference. It's it's just it's just a consequence of income. Right, this guy wants nine bucks back. Sure, there you go. But like at the same time. I can't see any other incentivization. Like in other countries, the US love their credit cards. I can't see any incentivization for people to use their credit cards over a debit card. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. All right, what is the early repayment? Because we did just make a couple of repayments. Oops, that's not what we wanted. Wanted management. No, we didn't. We wanted bank. Okay, pay off early. The 645 buckery booze. Otherwise, we've got 37 bucks for 21 days. That is probably actually equivalent. It's probably not that different. Oh, this guy's buying a lot of stuff, but it's not going to cost a huge amount. 12 bucks. Wow. Stingy. Okay, let's sell this guy his things. 14 bucks. Whoops. I think we probably don't want to worry too much about those small items then. Because it doesn't really seem like... You're getting more people in the door, sure. But you're not trading in volume. You're not actually trading in volume. All you're doing is getting these people who weren't going to buy any of the expensive items in the first place, except for this guy specifically. He also gave us $21 exactly. What a guy. Love that. But we're not actually getting too much more out of it. All right. He can't afford the uh, coffee, which is pretty funny. Sucks to be him. All right, let's throw this over the wall right here. Done. And we'll also turn the lights on because of the creepy atmosphere. Good, this lady is also buying oil. Three bucks over the counter with a credit card. I don't get it. Who jump in this? What happens? Does the game crash? Does the game crash if we, like, play in the in the boxes? You guys have seen Into the Pit. This is literally it. I make oil 99,000 buckery booze. No one buys it, though. That's the thing. No one will actually buy it. All right, good. This lady's buying oil you got to actually have reasonable prices in this game. It's pretty lenient when it comes to uh, kind of like making mistakes and stuff, but, you know, when you get kind of like in the doom loop of the early game because you've overspent on something else, this guy just gave us another hundo. Wow. Then it's a, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, honestly. You want to be reasonable enough. Okay, good. We'll start the next day. Cool! Uh, thanks. Thank you for the, for the outburst. Okay, we'll go ahead and maybe we'll try and get some more stuff. We'll get a bunch of oil. I think oil is probably going to be... Oh, we also want cereal and oil. I'm going to get four boxes of oil. That's quite a significant chunk of our money basically just gone now. 
But we do have the money to be spent. Excellent. I'll go ahead and I'll just make this the Isle of Oil. The the Oil Isle. It's hard to say, actually. Oil Isle. Oil Isle. I started getting the oil because it comes in packs of 12, and if we're just using it to get people into the store, then it is going to work in our favor regardless. Okay, good. It's also pretty cheap. I think we're making like a 200% markup on it. I'm just going to leave this one here in the corner right there. Good, and we'll get the cereal out as well. Is that Biden? <laughs> is Biden buying from us? What a guy. Uh, we don't actually want it on that shelf. No, because that bugs out the AI. We want everything on this shelf right over here. We'll yeet this over into the into the pit, and we'll throw this onto the top shelf here. Great. This should serve us real well. Now let's get this here cereal, and we'll stock it up on the top shelf. It is the top shelf kind of stuff there. Good, and now we are going to sell this guy some oil. He didn't buy anything else, and he paid with a hundo. Wow. What is going on here? These guys are rude as hell. Okay, pasta and bread, four bucks. As long as he doesn't give us a hundo. A single bag of coffee? Sure. How much is spent? She wants four bucks change. That's reasonable. I'm not going to berate her too much. Okay, we've already got some of the AI stuck. That's annoying. Maybe it's that corner. Maybe that corner is just failing to allow people access. Is that better? Kind of. No. No, it's, it's still bad. Is it too close to the wall? No, it is not. It's further away than this one. Okay. Okay. It's just busted, it seems. Okay, let's go ahead, grab this card, and 22 buckery booze straight down the sink. Okay, the cereal has bugged out all of these NPCs. Is it got anything to do with the wall? Let's just put this here. Is that helpful? No, it is this shelf altogether. Right. Gotcha. Oh, it doesn't match to the size. That's fine. This one, maybe? Let's restock all of this. That did nothing. What if we put it here? What is going on? I don't understand this. Uh, let's not put it there, actually. I think this shelf is just cursed. All right, let's jam it in here, and then we'll throw this over that hill. Oh, God, it's all, it's cursed again. There's no winning. These people. These people are cursed. Okay, two boxes of oil. That's fine. Six bucks. Good. Get out of my store. Three oils and a cereal. Thank you very much for your patronage. Get out. All right, two cereals. Thank you very much. Eight bucks change. All right, fine. If you insist. This weird looking guy. Okay, six bucks cereal. Good. Get out. Uh, this guy wants some tea and some coffee. Good for him. And he also gave us the right amount of money. Nice. This guy's got a credit card. 14 bucks. Done. Excellent. We got all of that done and dusted as well. One, two, three, four. Excellent. So. Okay, we definitely have some kind of curse going on. Is it the lights? Is that it? No. Maybe it's actually just this aisle. Okay. I'm feeling that maybe we shouldn't have put all of the oil on here at once. Even though, like, cereal right there. Why is... Okay, fine. We'll get another box. We'll get rid of this shelf entirely because it seems to be breaking the game. Yeah, there we go. It didn't even buy anything. It went over to the coffee afterwards. What is this lady doing? Ah, oh, she's just broken. That's fine. All right, so this lady was $3 worth of eggs, and she... Oh, $4 worth of eggs, and she gave us a 50. Yuck. Go away. Good, good, good. And he gave us... He just wants five. There you go, bud. Good. Uh, we'll get all of this as well. Jesus, lady, she is buying 58 bucks worth of merch. Nice. That's what I like to see. Okay, good, and a dollar. There you go. Nice. Uh, so, this guy wants... He paid with a hundo. Oh, my God. Oh, my actual God. These people are Philistines. What is wrong with them? I'm going to restock all of the cereal down here. 
Maybe it's because we've got more than one area that's kind of stocked with stock. Maybe that's the issue. Okay, we'll get a skinny one and we'll just start repacking a lot of this oil. Like this one right here. Can go and this one can go. Has that helped? No. No, it has not. I'm just going to throw that in the corner right there. Let's go ahead and pack more away then. See if this works. No, that did nothing as well. What if we put all of this up here and we remove this one? Seriously? What if we put the oil here? We take all of this oil. What? Oh my God. That's it. That is so frustrating. <laughs> oh, this guy's getting a couple of loads of tea. Uh, sorry, sir. I'll just uh, turn the lights on real quick. Get rid of some of this pesky atmosphere. All right, 22 buckery booze. I can do that. Yes, sir. -y. There you go. And three boxes of cereal and some eggs. Nice. I bet you're eating like a queen, lady. Katy Perry just bought a bunch of eggs from us. Nice. What if Katy Perry actually does her own shopping? Okay, we got to give her a 10. Bye-bye. This guy got a couple of things. Very cash money as well. He wants a dollar. There you go. I didn't really want to part with that dollar, but, you know, it is what it is sometimes. Let's go ahead and get the 14 bucks in his pocket. He got a lot of eggs. He doesn't really know how to use the checkout, I don't think. And it was three bucks. Great. What's this? She gave us the right amount. Okay. I f what the hell? We only have oil on one end of a shelf now. Why is this guy breaking? What? Okay. Screw this. I'll stick it on here. This is so weird. This is so, so weird. I don't think I've ever seen, like, NPCs break this consistently in a game in a long time. Okay, good. Although I'm probably lucky to say that because this is early access, honestly. Okay, two boxes of tea and some cereal. Nice. That is exactly what I want to see people buying from my establishment. Great. Slater right here. Also got a couple of boxes of tea for 12 buckery booze. <laughs> the first click every now and then on the, on the pad doesn't really work sometimes. Is she broken? No. Well, I mean, that's probably actually a question for a therapist. Okay, so we need some more coffee. We need cereal, coffee, cereal, oil. Coffee, cereal, oil. Let's go ahead and do that. We can't order it just yet, though. Oops, I forgot to give her a change. Coffee, cereal, where is it? Coffee, cereal, tea. Great, that's going to be 300 buckery booze. And we've still got heaps of eggs, honestly. We probably don't need to get any more for a wee while. We're also very, very close to our goal of being able to pay ourselves off early. In fact, we could probably actually do it now. We made the last repayment. 585. We can actually pay this off early. I think we do it. Or maybe we just... No, let's not. Let's not do that. Let's make the sprint all the way to uh, 100, 900 bucks so that we get a self-checkout. That's probably going to automate the process for us a lot easier than what we are doing now. Which is manually checking these people out. I don't like it. I don't like manually doing it. We want to automate this place about as fast as possible. We're also not going to be paying cashiers, although they are kind of like the next point of progression into the automation. Quite funny. All right. Got a lot of cereal down here, and we'll also stack it up onto there as well. Uh, we'll throw this box over there. Done. We'll get this box of cereal too, and we'll fill out the rest of this. I think we've got enough to just fill all of this out, right? Yeah, we do. Good. Boop. There we go. And what's next? Coffee! Great. Love to see it. I could probably fill out a uh, a full round of that as well. Good. Done. And we got one more right here. We'll throw that against the wall. Done. Let's go. Whoa, look at this guy's shop. He's actually bought quite a bit. 35 bucks. Actually, it's not that much. Gotta be said. Probably not that much. Okay, 82 bucks. Waste of my time to be dishing out cash for that. Who gets paid in $100 notes? Well, maybe strippers. Maybe strippers get paid in $100 notes. Or maybe like, I don't know what strippers get paid in. Maybe they get paid in like those stripper bucks and then you got to convert that into, into currency. I probably, if I had strippers, I'd probably, you know, want some kind of way of paying with Bitcoin. 
Because if I was uh, the kind of person who would be giving money to a stripper, I too have Yin Set, and uh, I probably wouldn't want her to know that I'm giving money to strippers. I'd probably want it untraceable, and thus Bitcoin, right? All right, good. A lot of oil, my dude. You don't need that much oil. I mean, I'm not going to complain if you're buying it, but at the same time, my man, too much oil is too much oil. All right, I've got 438 buckery booze in the bank right here. Yeah, I think we save up for the automatic checkout. And then we can start focusing on just keeping the shelves stocked. And we should be in a very, very good spot. All right, this lady's buying from the salmon fridge, the egg fridge, the egg bank. Good. And she's got some notes to give us. One dollar. There you go, lady. We're also going to go ahead and take this guy's change. No change. Love it. Okay, cereal. We've got a, we've got a credit card. He's playing with plastic. Or as we in New Zealand call them, cocaine setters. Or cocaine sifters. I can't remember. Pretty slow day, though. Okay, apparently the coffee is too expensive for everybody. Maybe we do want to drop that price a little bit. What is the market price? Five bucks? Okay, let's make it ten. A nice even ten. Oops. There we go. That should alleviate some of our woes. Twelve bucks? Sure. Done. Okay, some lady is buying three boxes of cereal. We could probably actually hike up the price of cereal. If everyone's buying it, let's do that. Let's just hike up the price of cereal right here from six bucks to seven bucks. Oh my god, market price is eight bucks. Seriously? Done. Oh, this lady went to go buy it and she was like, oh, not for that price increase. Welcome to New Zealand, lady. All right, what did you buy? Coffee, tea, oil, eggs. Good choice. Good choice. Healthy choice. Healthy choices. Okay, let's start restocking the shelves. This is coffee. Let's start stocking the coffee. Done. I think I bought some coffee. I'm going to replace it immediately. Immediately. Uh, where is the oil? Over here, let's say. Throw that over there. What is this? Tea? Sure. I'll replace this. And throw that on the ground as well, like an absolute philistine. What else we got? Oil! Fantastic. Exactly the right amount of oil. Done. I'll throw that over there. And let's go ahead and check this guy out for his coffee. Ten bucks? Sure. We should be making heaps and heaps more when it comes to the cereal now. But I don't know how reasonable it is that people are going to be uh, buying the amount that we want them to buy. Because we're buying like six boxes at a time, which is pretty generous. But now? Maybe not. Okay, we've got a couple of people glitching out over here again. Oh my god. Could you people just get it together? What is wrong with you? Okay, I think that entire shelf is just cursed, to be honest. Yeah, okay, let's throw that over there. This guy is buying a huge amount of stuff, actually. Okay, good. 23 buckery booze. Sure, down the drain. And this guy wanted one bag of coffee. And he wants... He gave us $11. You're a dick, sir. You are a dick. Piss off. Wow. What an asshole. Okay, that's fair enough. If something costs four bucks and she buys it for five bucks, that's fine. That's fine. But somebody gives us $11 for a $10 item, he can go to hell. Quite frankly. All right, we almost got uh, 700 buckery booze, which is pretty damn good, actually. Especially after all the sales that we've had today. Okay, we'll empty out the coffee onto the... Uh, we'll go and turn the lights on. Done. And now we've still got heaps of tea. This stuff never runs out, honestly. Good. Throw that in the corner. Good. Bruise the tea a little bit. So it's a, a, a little less tasteful than it should be. Which is how James Bond likes his martinis. He likes some shaken, not stirred, which bruises the gin. That is how you do not make a drink. You do not shake it. I know it's called a shaker, but you're supposed to, like, swish it side to side. You're not actually supposed to jam it up and down like you... Like, like you're uh, kind of pleasing a boy for the first time. Okay. What are we looking at? Let's go ahead. 10 buckery booze. Nice. Thank you for your patronage. Let's go ahead and check this lady out for 27 buckery booze as well. That's pretty damn reasonable. Love that. Okay, so at this computer... We still need to hit level... Oh my god, we're going to hit 900 bucks before we actually hit a cashier, which is just plain annoying. 
So we're probably actually just going to get straight into the automation, I think. And then we'll get lots and lots of tea. As well as other things. I think then we'll start trading in massive quantities of volume. Because the next upgrade is level 15. We're at level 8. We're halfway there. And we probably just want to get as many diversified things on the shelves as possible. So that we can kind of like get people in the door. And if they're all self-checking out, that's fine. That's exactly what we want. We'll see just how fast it is first, honestly. Before we kind of like really put ourselves into that grave. Okay, this guy wants three bucks change. There you go. And this lady's buying some tea and some cereal. Miss Moneybags right here. She gave us 40 bucks. You don't get $40 notes. Oh my God, you get $20 notes. She gave us two 20s for 20 bucks worth of groceries. What an asshole. What an actual asshole. These people here suck. All of the people in the, in the city suck. Okay, this guy's getting oil. Creepy and weird, especially given how he looks. All right, let's get all of that and we will charge him 18 bucks. I mean, okay, incorrect payment amount. Good thing that the game doesn't actually allow us to to put in a too, uh, too lower a value. That's good. That's really, really good. Okay, we are at 847 bucks. We are ending the day. We'll see what we have afterwards. 847. Excellent. So let's go ahead and open the store up. We need oil. We need cereal. We need coffee. We need oil, cereal, coffee. Oil, cereal, coffee. We need oil, cereal, coffee. Oil, cereal, coffee. And we need coffee as well. Boom. Done. That is 200 bucks down the drain. Done. Awesome. Let's restock all of this coffee. Never mind. <laughs> we didn't need coffee whatsoever. I think I misread what I was looking at. Throw that coffee over there. And what is this? This is oil. We want all of this oil up here on this shelf to be sold to the general public. We'll throw that over the machine right there. I don't think we have any other oil. No, we just got tea. We got tea and coffee over there. What's this? This is also oil. Let's throw this in the corner there. And this one is cereal. Perfect. We're going to throw all of the cereal up in this corner. Or not. Okay, good. And we'll throw this over the corner. Oops, almost missed. Got some eggs. Hello there, sir. Thank you very much. Go away. Nice. And now we have some more cereal. I'm actually going to go ahead and just restock this one, even though we don't have a full stack to restock. Now let's check this guy out. Two bucks is a tea. Thank you very much for your patronage. Twelve bucks. Good. That's not so bad. Only if they say that they don't want to spend much and they want to buy lots and lots of things, that's when I'm going to say piss off. We want to decentivize uh, what I am now going to coin as vultures. No. Goblins. Yes. Goblins. Uh, good 16 buckery booze right there. We probably want to get some signage as well, actually, while we're here. There should be some decorations and stuff around the place. I don't re Maybe it's a furniture? Rex. Uh, Self-checkout counter. No speaker. No category sign. 150 bucks. Jesus. This place is expensive. Okay, good. Eight bucks. Another 16 of those, and we'll be able to buy a category sign. Okay, that's coffee. What's this? Oil? Yep, perfect. Let's go ahead and just stock this up here. And there's also one on the other shelf. Or not. Maybe there's not one on the other shelf. Probably start stocking this tea as well. I mean, people are buying it hot off the press, honestly. Okay, we've got a bunch of people willing to buy our extortionary cost goods. Like coffee. This guy's getting coffee, cereal, and tea. Wow. The Holy Trinity. And this lady is going to get oil and tea, which is a horrid combination. Disgusting. This guy's getting two box, uh, bottles of oil, which probably is just fine. I don't mind that too much. Okay, we've got a chocolate right here. Great! Piss off, lady! Bye-bye! Eat my ass! This is my store. I can do what I want. I think we're going to take out another bank loan, honestly, to get ourselves a self-checkout. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go ahead. We'll go to the bank. Ah, uh, we didn't pay this off early, apparently. Didn't we pay this off is it early? Oh, we did now. Okay. So we paid that off. We basically now need to get to the point where we can afford to... That was 30 bucks change. We can get ourselves possibly... I'm just thinking as I speak. Yeah, so we probably want to get ourselves to the point where we can get ourselves a self-checkout and then we want to take the loan to kind of top ourselves up from that. We did just pay off a loan really, really fast. 
We can take out a maximum of 750 bucks, which means we need a minimum down payment of 150 for a self-checkout. Yes, 750, 800, 900, yes. But we're also going to need a lot of funds to keep ourselves sustained and afloat. Okay, good. 12 bucks right here he paid. Wow, he wants 38 back. What a jerk. Okay, we'll get these two right here, and he wants three bucks change. That's fair enough. Okay, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to buy the self-checkout right now. I'm going to take a loan from the bank. Boom. And we are going to go ahead and buy ourselves a single self-checkout item. Furniture. We probably want this one. Let's do it. Let's buy it. Oh, there's also shipping. That never occurred to me. Okay, what does this lady want? A single bottle of oil. Oh my god, this is not worth my time. Okay, screw this. I'm going to leave these guys here. I'm just going to go and get my self-checkout machine. And we're just going to plant it right next to the door here. All right, good luck. Good luck, you bastards. Oh, my God. Yes. 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 I love that. Oh, that's so much easier. We don't even have to do anything. Oh, thank the Lord. Close. Permanently. This check out is now permanently closed. All right, let's go ahead and carry this. And we want to box it up. And now we want to sell by holding F, apparently. Done. We got 250 bucks for that. Nice. So now we just want to basically focus on being a restock main, don't we? Oh, we also need eggs. Let's get the computer. Let's move the computer. Let's move this over here. Because now that we're done uh, kind of being the checkout monkey we don't have to do this whatsoever uh we still need like 400 checkouts for the second cashier but we don't need anything for these restockers which are significantly more valuable and these cashiers do cost money i don't think these self checkouts do okay we've got a lot of bills got a lot of bills actually let's go ahead and just pay everything off i suppose since we don't really have a choice in the matter turn the lights on uh, well, that was weird. She got stuck. Wonder why. Huh. Okay, good. This is generating exactly what we want. So now let's go into the market and we'll start diversifying out what we sell. Probably makes the most sense. And we'll keep this side of the story as kind of like the, uh, the actual buy side. Probably a good idea. Okay, that doesn't go there. Let's just go ahead and put this in temporary place. Uh, let's put that there, also temporary. I'm going to go ahead and move all of this out of the way. Right here, throw it all into that corner over there. Good. Let's pick this up. We'll kind of like angle it like this. So it's not so invasive. Right there, done. And this one here is getting turned a little bit. This guy is... Desperate for what is, whatever is on the shelf. He can't even wait for me to place down the damn thing. Wow. Okay, let's also start looking at the prices of this coffee. Market price. Okay, that's the tea. That's fine. Market price of coffee is 10 bucks. We're selling it for 10 bucks. The market price is 8 bucks. Maybe we'll change this to 9 bucks. In fact, now that we've got some automation, we could probably also start setting this as kind of like... We could start doing decimals. In fact, let's try doing that. Let's set this to $6.50 and see what happens. Because we get a higher profit from that. Done. All right, good. That's the... What day is it? Day 12. Okay, so by day 12, he had some automation up and running. And now we've got... good, Pretty good access to our shelves. Okay, let's put that there. We'll go ahead and start focusing on the storage at this point, honestly. Because that is the point at which we are at. Let's go ahead and dump all of this tea. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to get ourselves more items, though. We can probably afford it at this point. Let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, this is our computer right here. We'll go into the market, and we will start buying ourselves some more products. So, cereal, sliced bread, flour, uh-huh, oil, pasta. Good. That's 187 buckery booze right there. Let's go ahead and do it. Sugar, bottled water, cheese, sure. Actually, let's get two bottled water, two cheese, and we'll increase these. 
up one. We also probably want two milk if we can afford it, which we can. Excellent. And not to worry about the eggs. Okay, the diversification starts. Couldn't find Pansanati pasta. Well, just look on the giant boxes in the street, you idiot. Okay, I'm going to stick milk all the way at the bottom here. Hey, we got a lot of milk. Looks uh, fairly efficient. Okay, let's change this price. Market price is $2.80. Let's change it to $3 right there. So we got a profit of $2.12. That's pretty damn good, actually. All right, here's the pasta. Let's start throwing it just in random places on the shelf, because honestly, it doesn't really matter. It just doesn't matter. The only reason that we would kind of, like, not be doing this is if we were trying to have aisles. Okay, let's throw that over there. This cheese is going to be 4 bucks because it's got a market value of $3.40, and that's the nearest round number. Good. Pensanati pasta, that can just go there. What is this, oil? Absolutely. We'll start sticking this all the way up here. And now I'm just going to throw this against the corner right over there. Good. Right over here is more milk. Let's just throw that off into the corner. This is more flour. Let's go ahead and start stocking the flour up on this top shelf here. Well, that was weird. Got a strange, strange shape to that box. Okay, what's this? This is also oil. Probably don't need that there just yet. We want all of these people to basically check themselves out. As if they worked here already. Because <laughs> honestly, if I was working here, I probably would have checked myself out already too. <laughs> All right, we've got some bottled water here. This stuff isn't expensive, but it is a bit of a uh, get-in-the-door kind of item. It's a very popular item because it's water. Okay, market price of $2.06. Six, six, make that 3 bucks a bottle. Done. Excellent. Uh, we don't want the price to go down whatsoever because of, like, stimulation of competition or anything like that. So we'll just set the price high and uh, deal with whatever comes. All right, we've got some water. Throw that in there, too. We've got some more cheese. Throw that there. I think people really like cheese as well. All right, we've got 114 buckery booze. Okay, the water is too expensive. Let's drop that by a decimals amount. How about 2.7? $2.7. Yeah, it's probably good. Every time someone says something's too expensive, we'll just lower the price a little bit. The black tea is too expensive? Okay. Right, let's change that to six buckery booze, and that should be fine. My experiment failed. People are buying the sugar. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and just start dumping this on there as well. Okay, this shelf is cursed as hell. I don't think we'll use these double shelves much anymore. I think they may actually have a curse to them. A nasty curse to them. Okay, let's get the bread there. Cheese is too expensive. Oh, that's a that's okay, man. Let's make it $3.50. See what happens. And we'll just keep adjusting like this until we uh, hit a nice sweet, sweet spot. Not sweat spot. That's what I get when I go to the gym. Ah, so we now need to kind of like box up this sugar again. I think that's what's glitching everyone out. Actually, it's the pasta. That's annoying. Oh, well. Hello there. <clears throat> How are we today? We are trying the supermarket simulator. It's had a bunch of updates and it's actually playable now. I say, as we encounter probably one of the most annoying bugs in the game, which is, uh, hey... There's an item here and all three people want it. Don't know what's going on. Okay, that's the wrong size box. Okay, the box is gaining sentience. That's weird. Uh, let's just take this and unstick everyone. We have got a little bit of automation set up, which is pretty awesome. We could probably do with getting another one of these machines at some point as well, because they're fairly slow. These are fairly slow. Ah, doing good. How about you? I'm very good. I'm relaxed. I am playing a relaxing game. And also, I've had a great day. Okay, we'll go ahead and jam this up here. I went to go and try for the other endings and Cry of Fear. That's how the stream started. But unfortunately, uh, we got to a point where I, was, I, I felt kind of like uh, burning out a little bit in the game. And I didn't necessarily want to chase that feeling. So I just kind of like cut it when we hit the mental asylum. I got to the point that I wanted to get to, which is the two saves after we don't kill Carcass. So we'll be going in and getting those two innings basically in one single sitting, probably in the next session. Wow, these guys are buying heaps now. How much is this one going to be? Let's see. It is... 24 bucks. Oh, that's actually bugger all. That's, that's almost worthless. That's not worth getting these people in the doors whatsoever. In fact, it's actually slowing down the sales of what people would be spending on their big tickets. Weird. All right. Uh, people are not really buying water. That's concerning to see from uh, mainly just a 
a, 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 a like functional level, a societal level. We got more flour. We'll stock this up here too. I was sleeping, otherwise I would have helped. Oh no, it's absolutely fine. It wasn't like um, it wasn't hard getting there, but I kept taking wrong turns every now and then, which cost lots and lots of time. And I think, as you know, as a speedrunner, time is pretty essential in like consecutive playthroughs in a game where the plot doesn't ever change. Oh, we need to actually get more coffee. That's good to know. So people are actually buying the big ticket items. It's just not in frequency. Uh, we also have some bread here. I don't want to overwhelm anybody and put too many things on the on the plate. What the hell is this guy doing? My dude, what are you doing? I don't understand. Oh, I think we also need to... Yeah, let's actually move this here so that people can kind of see what they're buying. I think we've illuminated the area pretty well. It's not going to be straight by any means necessary, but we are going to be able to see. It's also annoying when you lose time for nothing as a normal player. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was what I was feeling. It's just the consequences of a bunch of uh, stupid small decisions were adding up to be um, a bunch of really annoying uh, big time sinks. Okay, good. Uh, we definitely have to change that. That is a bad, bad name for a supermarket. Let's actually change that now. Can we? Can we change? That? Probably not under the floor. It's probably under the management, right? Pay off our bills, although I don't want to pay my bills. Customization, store name. 250 bucks though, Jesus Christ. Wow. Everything's so much more expensive in this video game than in real life. I have seen the cost of printing a sign above a building this big and it is not 250 bucks. Not even here in New Zealand where our dollar is worth literal garbage. Okay, we've got some more cereal. Let's throw this down here. Soon to the 1k? I know, I'm really excited. I was more excited for 9.69 uh, because, you know, funny number. But uh, yeah, I screenshotted it. I was kind of like sitting on my phone all day waiting for it to happen and happen. I was like, yes, I caught it. Nice. Uh, let's kind of try and fix this tower. Uh-oh. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I've got a... Okay. I've got an idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block it off like, like this. <laughs> that's a future problem. That's not a me problem. That's, that's a someone else's problem right there. <laughs> I, I look at that and I think that ain't my problem. Believe me, that is not my problem. <laughs> oh, what a mess. What an actual mess. Couldn't find the coffee dark roast. Oh, we need to buy that, actually. Let's do that now. Okay, uh, we'll get uh, materials. No, our uh, consumables. Coffee dark roast. Yes, we'll get, like, a few of these, I think. And some tea, obviously. Tea is a very obvious buy. And also some cereal. That's 400 bucks. Done. Spent. Excellent. Let's start panic sh uh, filling these shelves now. Okay, we didn't need the cereal. Good. And d we definitely needed this coffee, though, didn't we? Yeah, we definitely needed that coffee. Throw that over there. And what is over here? We have more coffee? Perfect. Let's go ahead and just put this on the shelf right here. Go ahead and throw that over there as well. More coffee? Sure, don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh my god, I wonder how this place smells. I really wonder how this place smells. Not because we've got stinky people in here, but because uh, it's just full of coffee at all times. It'd be quite nice, honestly, I think. Okay, good. We've got some more tea. I'm just going to throw it down here. And then we're going to throw this in the corner. Good. And we've also got more coffee that we can stick in the shelf just down in this corner here. A temporary fix that will stay forever? Yes, yes. I mean, it's not really our problem, though, is it? It's not It's not really a problem that we are paid to deal with, one would say. One would say. Oh, I see the issue. This guy's getting stuck again. Oh, are you taking the piss? Seriously, guys? Jackasses. Okay, let's get another big box. I think this is the right size. Yeah, let's take this one. It's the right, it's the wrong size. Let's just throw it over there. This is probably the right one. Good. Yep, there we go. And they are not stuck. Perfect. Now I just restock that one. Wow. I think that does happen. So we probably don't want to stock more than one shelf, right? We ju we just want to have one. Um, we want to have one article per row. We don't want to spread those articles out too far. Except coffee, which seems to be the exception. 
Maybe it's the box of sugar that is behind them that got them stuck. Oh, no, there's no there's no box of sugar behind here, believe me. I've emptied these boxes out meticulously. Oh, people are buying the water for once. That's weird. I wonder if there's some kind of, like, event happening. Oh, it seems like there is. Even the government bought one. Huh. Okay, let's restock the milk. This is frantic. Once you get a little bit of automation right here, it is frantic. Also, we're not paying this one right here. We're not paying it for, for its work. I like that. I like that we're not paying it for its work. To me, that is equal commerce. Put all this oil up here. I mean, it's in the corner. You stacked up to box behind the spot where they got stuck. <laughs> Maybe. I think I have figured it out. I feel like... Because of all of these boxes here, which again is a future problem, it's not a current problem for us. I feel like the amount of boxes that we have here is kind of messing with the AI's ability to <laughs> to, to kind of like claim items as they walk in the store. And what's happening is multiple NPCs are kind of claiming the same item when they both go to claim it at the same time. That There's like a, a conflict and it's like, oh, which one do I give it to? I don't know. Panic, freeze. That kind of thing. Like it's Like it's the kid from Inside Out 2. Okay, let's go ahead and fill those back up. But it seems like if we only have one shelf, this error doesn't really seem to happen. Okay, we're out of sugar. No, we're not. We've still got two more sugars. Go ahead and throw that over there. Good. Can you destroy the box? Yes, actually, you can. You can. Here, I'll actually work for a living. You can take this box right, and if you go all the way out to the street right here, you interact with this bin, and it's gone from the world. So you can do it, but... It's not a me problem. I'm, I'm not paid to deal with that. What do you think I am? A supermarket owner? What is this? Oh, is this just like an outlet for the sake of an outlet? It looks really happy. It looks like a really happy outlet. I'm pretty happy about that, by the way. I'm pretty happy that there's a little happy outlet right here. Oh, that would be too long. You can't hire someone. Uh, yeah, I know, right? It, it would take absolutely forever to, to kind of like move all of the stuff out here. So what we can do is we can go into here and when we go into management, there is actually now a hiring screen. We can get our first cashier, but you'll probably notice this little number right here, which is uh, something called a wage, which we do not actually want to be spending. We don't want to be giving money to people, right? Especially when there has just been added to the game a machine that automates the entire process for you which has been added right here. Look at this guy buy his cheese. Then he taps his card on the screen instead of the pay wave. And then he's done. He's done and dusted. He's gone. Look at this guy buying four bottles of oil and some water. Man, he's going to be real slippery tomorrow. Weird. Can you play Roblox? No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Why are there so many people like turning up to my streams de just demanding that I interrupt whatever I'm doing to do what they want to see? Can't these... That's free! Roblox is free! And also, that guy who keeps... Oh, maybe it is actually the boxes that are the issue. Huh. There's also one guy that comes into my stream every now and then to uh, demand that I sing songs I've never heard before. Did that fix it? No. Those boxes are giving them brain damage. Who? These guys here. Oh my god, you're right! Ugh! What happened to his polygons? I want these sales, but I don't want them that bad. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. This band. <laughs> this guy with the sweat stains under his armpits here. Skinny as a... What's up with the length of his arms? And also his face is just... It's so low poly. Okay, so it seems to be the cereal that's the massive issue. It is the cereal offender, it seems. Okay, we'll just get rid of the cereal and then we'll probably stop selling it all together because, quite frankly, it's more trouble than it's worth. Ah. Sing for us. Dude want Riz the woman? What What do you mean by Riz? Do you mean, like, um, have a conversation with? Do, do you mean, like, they're, they're having a conversation? <laughs> Maybe move the entire shelf. I've already tried that. It, it doesn't work. We had a kind of setup that looked like this uh, before, and I'm happy to show you because I can just do it real quick now. Like this. And I thought it was a bit more space efficient because we could keep stacking shelves all along here. 
and you know it wouldn't be too invasive but as it turns out in, uh, the NPCs get stuck in this corner significantly more when we have this layout. Yes? Oh, you mean have a conversation. I don't know why people are using Riz as kind of like a, a verb these days. It's a shorthand of, of charisma, which hilariously comes from Dungeons and Dragons. Chat GPT coded game. It is a little bit like that, isn't it? <laughs> Chat GPT, make me a game. Make me a game I can sell on Steam for money. Yes. Yes, creator. I will do that. Right now. I have come up with a, a game where you work in a supermarket. Everything's too expensive. And the people are dumb as bricks. <laughs> and that is the core gameplay loop. Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> oh! Come off it! The first three customers this time! Seriously? No! Alright, fine. We'll get another one of these boxes and we'll just... I suppose we'll just stop selling these, I guess. There we go, everyone. Go home. I'm gonna throw this in the trash. Done. We've discontinued cereal. There is only coffee and tea now. Oh, there's also cereal here. Maybe it won't break there. I can't believe I th had to throw out a whole box. What a waste. Yuck! Have you tried putting it completely somewhere else and not in that corner? Yeah, I have. Uh, we've put it around the place uh, quite frequently. It's been a long-term bug that's been in the game for a long, 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 long time. Like, I've been playing this since it hit Steam. I didn't pre-order it, but I got to the party pretty soon after a lot of people could pre-order it. So it, it's just like one of those bugs you have to deal with in an early access game. I don't think it's going to be fixed anytime soon either. I just think that, like... If you stack up too many of these boxes, <laughs> then it kind of... The game is too busy worrying about the physics of those boxes. Oh, we already have tea and stuff over here. That they don't really consider... Oh, yeah, that's right. There are customers trying to buy things. Maybe we should dedicate, I don't know, a, a couple of brain cells to that. Ah, oh, no, nah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine, says the game. Says chat GPT in the game. Throw that over there. Good. Um, we'll grab this and we'll throw that down here. You're an OG cashier. <laughs> I was the OG cashier. I was the OG cashier in this game as well before I automated myself out of a job with a robot. And yet, I'm getting paid more. Like, we have started making hundreds of dollars a day. It's fantastic. I love it. And I feel like if we just, like, stop these stupid NPCs from getting stuck, they'll just continue buying stuff from us. These stupid idiots. They'll keep on buying our crap. All right, let's throw this over here. Uh, I'm going to stock all of the tea, I think. I'm going to stock all the tea up there so people can just walk in and buy as much as they damn well please. And then they can get out of my store. Because it is a big ticket item, really. And frequency. All right, good. I think Biden's in here. What's he buying? Just some coffee and tea? Nah, that sounds like him. Okay. So what else we got? We got some cereal. We've got a whole box of cereal. <clears throat> damn it. Okay, I'm going to try and sell the cereal. In like in tiny bursts. Let's just let's just do it in fours. Oh no! Biden's stuck, and he's head banging for some reason. Why is he doing this? Answers that no one will ever answer. Okay, this seems to work. Maybe it's like there's only one cursed item at a time. Give them morphine. <laughs> okay, we'll see if we can buy some morphine from the store and we'll sell it to them. What have we got? We got cheese, coffee, tea, milk. Uh, milk of the poppy would be ideal, but I'm pretty sure this is cow's milk. Oh, we've actually got some water. We Oh, what the hell? We should be sticking inside of the fridge, shouldn't we? It's got bread. Okay, I've broken it again. I can't believe this. Okay, that is the wrong size box. Let's go ahead and just drop that back there, I think. Average Biden interaction. He needs his coffee these days. There's a the reason they call him Sleepy Joe. Honestly. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I am literally speechless by this encounter that I'm currently looking at. Oh, look, someone's actually buying it. Unheard of. Is she getting more? Yeah, I think she's getting more. No, she's actually stuck now. Okay, maybe we maybe we don't do what we were just doing. 
Box size match size. What about the coffee? Nope. Okay, wrong box size. What about the deep dish one? Does this work? No, nope. doesn't quite work either. All right. What about, uh, say, oh, I don't know. Nah, not that one. This one, maybe? No, doesn't match. Uh, what about this one? Doesn't match. Uh, there is a reason we're keeping all these boxes, and it's for the reason that you're looking at right now, so that we can kind of, like, restock the shelves. We have broken the day. Okay, box doesn't match the size. What the hell? What box does? All right, there's literally one person checking out here. Let's let's just um kind of jump around this pile back here until we find a box that maybe might work. Uh, I'm I'm not feeling the ones at the top. Maybe this one. Okay, gotta go ahead and click this right here. Okay, maybe we should start another pile of boxes somewhere else. You need more boxes? Yeah, you're probably right. Actually, we probably do need more boxes. Uh, let's go ahead and just restock this water right here. Excellent. And is this the right size? No. No, it is not. Well, this is embarrassing. Oh, apparently it's too expensive. Oh, well, I wish everybody else had that kind of foresight. Let's go ahead and just stick some bread over here. Where are they going? Oh. They really can't decide. They can't choose. I don't know what the hell is going on, honestly. <laughs> This is so weird. Supermarket! Yes, hello there, DJ. Thank you for the autistic outburst. Uh, we have currently broken the game. D just a smidge. Just a smidge. I think, actually, maybe a screenshot is in order. Yeah. That's weird. Okay, let's take a screenshot of that, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to end the day. Oh, that was bad. We still made quite a lot of money, though. We made heaps and heaps of money. All right, what else is going on? Some boxes are kind of getting into the fridge, which is really not what we want, is it? Uh, this also is a, getting a little bit concerning too, isn't it? We probably maybe want to... You know what? Let's try and fix this problem. Let's let's create like a win-win situation. I don't want to have to deal with this right here. And I know that nobody else in the store wants to have to deal with that either. So let's just whack that there. And we'll kind of like... We'll move this here checkout. Inwards, just a, a, a smidge more. Uh, this one next up there. Excellent. Uh, this one goes up here. Good. And this one right here goes whoop, up there. Please don't, please don't fall down. Oh my god. Okay. That should stave off the nasties. Oh, would you look at that? They're all struggling to pathfind. Oh, for God's sake, already? <laughs> I'm sorry for late. No, DJ, you're absolutely fine. Uh, we, we've collapsed an economy. We've literally collapsed an economy. Hello there, sir. The checkouts are full. Are they? Are they, though? Did you try looking? Okay. <laughs> We're going to have to move this one then, I think. Okay, let's move that here. Okay, there is a customer now... Stuck behind there. I think we're probably good, right? We could probably move this desk right here as well. Just put it there. <laughs> it's a later problem. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> when do you release the new you bop you lose? Uh, it's it. It's out now. It's it's out right now. It came out this morning, and you are currently listening to it. It is the Shadow Side by Andy Black. They're already all bugging me, I know. Look, there are three people waiting to check out, and one of these guys is obviously, very, very obviously broken. I think it's this guy. This one guy here has probably claimed first dibs, right? right there's some bread here we could probably do with... Let's get the bread. Let, let's try and pack the bread, see what happens. Did that fix anyone? No, it did not. Oop, can't throw that at that guy waiting to check out, apparently. I can't throw here. What do you mean I can't throw here? I can't... Oh, I can't get rid of this box anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> the game is broken. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. <laughs> 
<laughs> I tried so hard. And I got pretty far, but I guess in the end it doesn't even matter. Can I bin it? Yes, I can bin it. Okay, good. Can I bin the customers? Okay, I just disabled and reactivated. Oh, we fixed it. Okay, good. We fixed it. We fixed it. All it took was a little bit of fiddling around. And then we figured out how to keep this gigantic pile of... Hey, what are you doing back there, sir? This gigantic pile of box... Oh, right, the checkout is in the way of the... Sorry, the fridge is in the way of the checkout. So every time someone queues up, they're kind of like pathfinding around this thing. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's broken again. Let's go. Yeah, let's go to the scripts. Let's go back to the drawing board. I'll put that there. I can't move this one, but I can probably box the T and move that. Like so? No, doesn't match the size. Uh, I can't throw... Okay, fine. It won't let me throw my boxes anymore either. Hello there, sir. What are you after? I'd say. Okay, I'm going to close the checkout again, and then I'm going to reopen it. Good. Okay, people are checking out. Hell no. I think we... I think we basically just micromanage this checkout, right? And it should be absolutely fine. One guy is claiming the, the first spot, and I think he's trying to buy more things. Oh, people are buying the teas as well, which is awesome. All right, good. Let's close this, and then we'll open it like so. These guys are patient, though. Honestly, if this were me, I would have been out already. If you lost 100 bucks every time you say bad word, are you in debt? I don't say bad words. I mean, I say piss and, and fart and ass and stuff like that, but they're not necessarily where I come from. They're not bad words. Hey, chat GPG, can you write me this code to ignore every time that contains the string box? Sorry, I've got a friend outside. A thousand bucks. Honestly, everything is so expensive in this game. Uh, I just got visited by a friend. She'll be here for a while, I think. But yeah, essentially... Everything is so expensive in this game that every dollar counts. You can't really just frivolously spend. Can someone else check out? Good, thank you, sir. Okay, who's next? Hopefully this lady right here. Oh, beautiful. Is it fixed? I think it's fixed. I think we finally fixed it. Wow. Okay, now we're raking in the money. We can afford to turn the lights on. I take all of that back. Oh, no. Okay, we need to find a box that, like, fits that T, right? Okay, it's not that one. I think it's got to be... Okay, I can't... Oh, I can throw the box. Good. Excellent. Let's throw that over there. Uh, we'll go climbing in the pile. Is it this one, maybe? Will this one be the right size for the T? No, that is the wrong size for the T. Can't throw that there. Okay, I'll throw that there. Is there, like, noticeable frame dip? I, was, I would end up in debt. I'm French. Ah, oh, wee oui, wee! Oui. As they say in France... What's it like, actually, uh, like, speaking English all the time as a, as a, as a French nationalist? Because I went to New Caledonia on a holiday some years ago. I loved it there so much. I, I fell in love with the culture, with French culture. All the smells of baking alone are just absolute god tier. Okay, I can't throw that there. Let's turn this on and off. Uh, is, is someone going to check out? Finally. Oh, my God. There's people glitching uh, kind of at the shelves. I'm not too worried about them anymore. Oh, hell no. All right, the government's in here, and I think the government's glitching out. Oh, no, the government's waiting to pay for something. Let's see what the government buys. Uh, the government has to wait for this guy. Ah! He's getting two boxes of tea. That's 12 bucks. Yep, that's 12 bucks. I know we're right at the end of the day as well, and um, uh, what's this guy? He looks like one of the wrestlers, but really skinny and with a gigantic head. I can't remember his name. All right, uh, so we are now in the thousands. You quickly mind if Cass worked in on your stream? Uh, I mean, she can if she wants. We're basically just breaking the game, Z. <laughs> are you seeing what has happened here, by the way? This is a mess. Actually, what time is it? It might be too late for me. No, it's, it's fine. 
It's fine. I, should, I, I got a stream for another, like, uh, 40 minutes or so. Okay, we'll start the next day, and we have a grand in pocket. That's great. We need to figure out how to get rid of this <laughs> shelf, this, bus this busted-ass shelf. Maybe if we just go open, and then we do not ever put these things on another shelf, right? I think that might be a really good idea. Okay, market. We'll go ahead and we'll start buying some other displays, right? We'll, di we'll diversify our stock so that it's not, uh, how would you say, tea? <laughs> okay, uh, so we got that in our cart. That's 230 bucks. Probably actually deal with getting a new product license, to be honest. Afternoon, I will not be walking in. I'm just creeping in your yard. Oh, that's a little bit meta. Okay, everybody, uh, I do have a friend here. I have a friend here at my house. I'm currently in my office, and the friend is currently creeping around my yard. If I had a nickel for every time I watched paint dry while pretending to watch F1 racing, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's where it happened twice. I feel that. I've got a buddy here who's really, really into his, like, sprint cars and stuff, and he'll, like, he'll take you aside and show you, like, a, a five to ten minute video of just sprint cars running around. And, like, he'll be all like, oh, that, did you see that? And I'm like, no. No, I, I didn't see that. It's very esoteric. He has to throw boxes at him, so he finally takes the boxes and came out. No, 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 no. We don't want that. That is a... We don't... It, it's, that's a big no-no. We don't, we don't want the in-game boxes to disappear. That is our livelihood right there. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, boo-hoo. Look at this womp-womp lady. Okay. She's literally looking at empty shelves, by the way. Couldn't find the flower. Yeah, okay, you didn't look very hard. I mean, she did, there was no flower. I don't think any of that stock is going to last. No, it is not. Oh, we still have cereal. Yeah, I think that is the technique. Just, like, not stocking the same thing on multiple areas of shelves. It seems to be breaking the game, doing that. As well as also, of course, uh, having a pile of <laughs> boxes behind everything. <laughs> ah. I need to go? All right, DJ, bye-bye. Bro car lady. She is, she is broke, isn't she? She's, she's a broke lady. Uh, what a Pokemon thing to say. Okay, so we've got some more tea. We've got a heap more tea, actually. I don't know what else we should be stocking necessarily because we do have a lot of big ticket items. I think we just ran out of stock. But the issue that I have now is that there's so many people who kind of like are always in transit walking to the supermarket to buy the things because we don't have them stocked fast enough. So we probably need to just... You know, buy everything we can, right? Like, a bunch of this crap. I don't know what it is. Cheese as well. Sure, we've got a fridge. Let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully this will stimulate more sales and volume. I feel like maybe making lots and lots of money is a, is a great thing, but at the same time, if you're breaking the game and no one is buying anything, you're probably not making as much money as you could possibly make. I, I don't feel like you're min-max necessarily. Maybe. All right, let's go ahead and throw that over there. It's not a me problem. We're just going to huck them over there. Oh, the cheese is too expensive. Is it actually? Is it? $3.50. Oh, yeah, that is too expensive. There you go, buddy. There you go. Lower profit, but people are actually going to buy it. Kidding, I am leaving your yard. Game hard and break game. My dude, you don't have to tell me twice. Look at what we've got. Oh, I'll turn the lights on. Look at this. We have literally broken the game. I've broken the AI, although I have found a fix for it. Okay, it was nice to see you outside my window. Sorry, I can't come out. I've got like a hardline rule on not leaving the stream early. That's why I'm almost at a thousand subs, baby. Made most of that in the last uh, four months as well. Okay, so right here, oil. We don't want to stock that. What's this? This is flour. We already have quite a bit of flour on the shelves. What is this? Sugar. We can stock that. Definitely we can stock that. Let's go ahead and stock that, and we'll toss that over there. Good, that's not our problem anymore. And we got more sugar. Gorgeous. We got some more uh, cereal as well. We got more cheese here. Just put this cheese here. And we'll leave the rest of this cheese kind of like lying on the floor right here to, to rot and spoil. Because that right there is the hallmark of expensive cheese. Dude, you're only 15 subs away. That is huge. Nice! I was uh, 21 subs away when I started streaming, so it's fantastic that it's going that fast. It's cool, isn't it? I'm really excited. Uh, then I'll be getting re ad revenue from all of the people who are watching my YouTube content. However, I'm a streamer now. So people aren't watching my YouTube content. People are literally come to hang out with me. Oh, this doesn't work. Ah. Huh. Maybe it is 
a cereal that's breaking it. I have to say. Like, it's a shame because cereal is probably the third most expensive item that we could be selling, and it's most certainly the one with the highest markup. Okay, what is this lady getting? We've made a bit of a mess here. I still watch your videos. What, the six hour live streams? <laughs> I know, it's, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Like, I am very close. I was more celebrating uh, 969, though. That was, that, that was what I was celebrating. So we've got 900 bucks. We could actually probably stand to invest this money in... Let's, let's invest it in a license. So none of this stuff... Salt's a really good ticket item. It sells heaps of it at once. But we could also do, like, orange juice, soda. I've never done these ones before. We could do cake, candy. We do bleach. Oh, we could put that next to the drinks. Yes, make this like king of retail all over again. It's also a bunch of cheese, honey, tuna, eggs, sugar. I don't think we'll bother with that one. I don't. Here's the thing, though. The higher the cost of the license to sell, it doesn't necessarily mean that the value of the items that you can sell after that necessarily scales. Especially when I miss the stream. Just chuck them on when I'm working from home or gaming. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. That's so good to hear. Thank you so much. You'll be getting me like, I don't know, three or four cents every video that you watch. When you win the stream, I'm going to watch the cry of fear part and see if you did the same mistakes as before. Ish. Ish. Like, the navigation, not so bad anymore. I kind of got into the habit of looking at the maps, and the maps are actually pretty reasonable when it comes to, you know, actually figuring out exactly what is going wrong and uh, where we are. And they also show you all of the underground stuff as well. That is necessary. But at the same time, I did make a couple of little mistakes, which cost a lot of time as well. Every cent counts. Yeah, I'll say. It's like, uh, I think with the gaming space, you get three cents per 1,000 views of an ad. So if you're watching my six hour videos, that'll be half of that. <laughs> I hate the maps. They're not awful. They're not awful. They're just a little bit confusing and sometimes a little bit unintuitive. The first-person parkour, I, I'm not a fan of. The actual maps, they do get pretty reasonable, I feel. So uh, when you play them uh, through the game more than once, you definitely like kind of start feeling uh, the flow and where to go and all that stuff. I think we just go with this one, right? Peanut butter, flour, olive oil. See what, see what we get. All right, it's 400 bucks down the drain. Oh, it's also the end of the day. And we've got no bugs. I love that. Look, no bugs. Can't find Ron sliced bread. Ron doesn't live here. An asshole. Don't tell me you were stuck for three hours. Oh, no, I wasn't stuck for three hours. Most certainly not. I made a lot of ground. It's just, uh, I was trying to decide how to make the ground. Uh, that costs lots and lots of time. Okay, let's put that in there. This one is pasta. We'll go ahead and dump that up this way and we'll throw that over the, over the wall there. Okay, now we've got this sugar. Let's go ahead and dump this on the shelf right here. Good. And this one's next. Let's go ahead and drop this all down here. Woo! Nice. And this one is coffee, which we are not stocking for some unusual reason. Even though it's the most expensive thing we can sell. Uh, we've got cereal. I'll just go ahead and stick it here. Sure. Then we'll drop that back into the corner. Nice. And we've got some oil, too, that we can sell. I think we've completely forgotten that there's another shelf. I think I kind of like congesting every... That was a weird angle. Hey, she got a tramp stamp. Look at that thing. Wow. Nice tramp stamp, lady. Where'd you get that? Tramps are us. Got him. Okay, she couldn't find milk. It wouldn't take her long to find some with a stamp like that, though. Huh. But yeah, like Cry of Fear, it's, a, um, it's, it's one of those games that are kind of like purposefully confusing to navigate, I feel. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this there. We'll put that one in there, and we'll put this right there so we can throw that over the wall. Excellent. And now let's take a look at the licenses that we just bought ourselves, right? It should be all the way down here. All right, so we got olive oil. Oh, wow, these are actually quite expensive. We got salt. Uh, this unloads in huge quantities, so it's really, really good for keeping people in the store. And the rest of it, I don't really know what it does, so we'll just kind of, I don't know, just... Wing it, I suppose, 174 buckery booze. Sure, I'll pay that. And we also want flour, peanut butter, pasta spaghetti. Done. 
Another 200 bucks? Sure. Done. Excellent. We just spent 450 bucks on a bunch of crap we've never seen before. Uh, what is this? This is supreme. Wow. Supreme quality. Uh, it's a pretty supreme price as well. Let's set it for seven bucks. Nice. Now, that's what I call a profit margin. And this is salt. Good. Let's go ahead and drop this on the shelf as well. Excellent. The whole game's a puzzle. It is a bit of a puzzle, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So the market price for this is two bucks. Let's go ahead and just set that. We've broken them. We've already broken the NPCs. That's pretty funny. Uh, we've got some oil right here. Premium oil that people can use to lube themselves with. Let's go ahead and drop all these here. Throw that over the wall because we're done with it. And we'll set this at its market price of six bucks with a, a very gentle markup, I think. This is peanut butter. Great. Excellent for smearing on your balls. I'm not going to tell you why. Uh, this is a market price of 5.5. Done. Excellent. And what's this? Spaghetti! Somebody touch my spaghetti! Let's go ahead and drop that there. We'll throw that over the wall. And we want to set this price to a nice market price of 7 bucks. Awesome! And we probably want to stop stocking all of the cheap crap, don't we? More spaghetti here. Uh, let's just throw that into the door. More oil. Great. And what is this? I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I can't even read that. Wow. Okay, let's throw that there. And whoop. There we go. What do we want to set this as? Probably another seven bucks right here. These are actually kind of... The markups are better. They're better markups than I remember. Oh, people are buying them as well. Excellent. Which is... Way better than the other shelf of crap we have over there. Nope, a little bit of frame drop every time I pick something up, unfortunately. Oh, people are buying that flower really fast. I love that. I love selling large quantities of crap. Excellent. Even if it prevents salvation. Like, any reason's a reason. I think we might have to move this. I think we have to move this wall. It, it may not be the best thing in the world. Oh, actually, I think one of the NPCs just fixed themselves. A couple of them are fixing themselves. The hell? Okay, that guy couldn't find something. I don't know what it was. What's this lady gonna pay? 25 bucks. It's not bad, actually. That's pretty good income for an automated system. This guy's getting a lot of stuff as well. What is, what's he gonna pay, though? It is 28 bucks. Nice. You love to see it. You love to see it. I was hoping she was gonna grab two boxes of cereal, but unfortunately, I don't think she is. Ah, oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's throw that over there. And we still have more tea to be sold. Good. Throw that over there. And we got cheese, Gromit. Good. Throw that over there as well. What about the oil? Is it gone? No. This guy's just kind of creeping up on the... What is he doing? Does he want salt? Does he want salt? But is he kind of like some kind of demon? I feel like that's the case. I feel like this guy is actually some kind of demon. Hello, lady. I feel like he's going to realize that the salt is contained within a container and the salt won't uh, send him back to the fiery brimstone pits of hell and Tartarus. But at the same time, I also don't think he's really got the facilities to figure that out. Weird. Okay. Barack Obama's stuck in a supermarket simulator before GTA 6. I'm really excited for GTA 6, actually. But, hey, oh, yeah, I was going to mention the jank-ass awkward navigation of cry of fear it definitely gives me practice for a game that's coming out in october called silent hill 2 it's getting remade it's getting remastered it's gonna have some more kind of like content and stuff in it as well i'm definitely gonna pre-order it it's coming out right before my birthday why would i not it's one of my favorite franchises as well if not the favorite franchise ever all right what are you buying buddy how much 30 bucks that's not bad actually couldn't find flour. I don't care. <laughs> I really could not care less. Okay, we have got some uh, kind of like souls of the damned, not really understanding how to get around the place. I love how these things do a backflip when we throw them over the wall now. All right, good. The spaghetti is out. Excellent. And this is unidentified blue box of something. Let's just restock it. What is it? Salt. Good. Let's throw that there. Salt is really space efficient when you're kind of like uh, storing it too. And this is oil. I think people are buying the oil. Yep, they're definitely buying the oil. I like Silent Hill, but I hate the camera methods they use. Oh my god, yes. Oh god, yes. The first two, especially. Kind of like the fixed cam with tank controls. No one likes tank controls. That's why I'm so excited for the second Silent Hill game to come out. 
It's going to have... Um, I don't know if this was confirmed, but it was rumoured to have multiple camera angles. Like, you can play it in third person or first person. Much like Skyrim. Much like Skyrim. Like, why would they not do it? It's, it's just the movement of a fixed camera. I don't know. It seems like kind of a waste to just end the day, right? Oh, this guy's buying something. What are you buying? Two oils, two bags of supreme flour. Good for him. How much was it? 26 bucks. Nice. We make a lot of money, actually. Silent Hill 2 is definitely going to be fire. I think it's my favorite one of the series as well, so I'm really, really glad that they kind of like... Wait, did Silent Hill 1 get a remake? I don't know if it did. I don't think it... Maybe it did. But it didn't like... It didn't make waves. It didn't make waves. But I think this one, Silent Hill 2, that one's definitely going to make waves. Well, this guy's actually buying something. So are they stuck or do they just kind of like need to make up their mind? I just don't know. Couldn't find coffee dark roast. Okay. What about these two? Nope, they're not going to buy anything. I think we cut our losses and we just restart the day, right? Like, what do we lose? 379 and we gain 488. Still pretty big. Still pretty big. I don't think one had a remake. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. It would be really cool if it does, but at the same time, Silent Hill 2 is the iconic one with... Uh... No, number one had the introduction of Alessa. Number two kind of polished off Alessa's lore, didn't it? And it definitely gave a story that you could follow along that was a little less jank. And also Daddy Big Sword. Daddy Big Sword's in uh, Silent Hill 2 as well. How could you look past that? Okay, so we are now open. We probably want to restock ourselves in terms of these things. So we definitely need more tea and coffee because those are big ticket items and they do not depreciate a lot. We just need a heap of tea at once, honestly. Like, just an absolute arse load. Let's get four boxes of it. Done. Now let's go ahead and throw these in the shelf. Tea is too expensive. No! Surely not. We can change that, actually. Oh, my God. Okay. $5.5. Yeah, we're losing less and less on the tea. Especially if we can make it up in volume. Okay, let's throw that over there because we already have a coffee section. Good. Yeah, let's throw that all down there. I hope it's good. I hope it's stable on release because when Dragon's Dogma 2 came out, that was a Capcom one, not Konami. It was Capcom. Very similar company, similar ideals, but Capcom tends to not... I don't know how to put this. Wipe their ass with their fan base. <laughs> Whereas Konami insists that they wipe their ass with their fan base every chance that they get. Okay, we've already broken the AI again. I wonder why this game is like this. Maybe because of the... Nah, it's not my problem. That's not my problem. That's the developer's problem. It's not my problem. Okay, the... Nondescript blue boxes need restocking, and so do the... Actually, most things need restocking. This oil needs restocking. I only got two left, actually. And whatever this is, peanut butter. I think we've only got one more of those on the shelf. There we go. Done. What else we got? Uh, not a hell of a lot else. We got one coffee, four teas. Boxes, I mean, of such. I wonder what... I wonder what interdimensional witchcraft... Is leading these people to look the way they do. Because there's a lady in a blue dress here who is just like massively oversaturated. And her character model doesn't look like it should be in the game. It doesn't really look like it's catching light like the other ones. Weird. Weird as hell. Oh, look. This guy's in here now too. Oh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's what he looks like. He looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin. But if Stone Cold Steve Austin had a massive forehead... And was uh, skinny. Really, really slender. More like Stone Round Steve Austin. No, Stone Slim Steve Austin. Okay, we'll restock that. I don't really need to restock a hell of a lot else, honestly. Probably need to get all of these items that we are kind of like trying to sell. Maybe we just want to move this aisle so it's just like a little easier to navigate. Like right here, maybe? How's that? Is that a little easier for you? You guys like that? Oh! Someone like that. Perfect. This lady in the floral dress buying six boxes of peanut butter and a coffee. That's fine. I don't mind too much. As long as she's not weird. Actually, her shop is pretty standard. I wonder what she's going to do with that peanut butter, though. She's probably not going to eat it. 
let's be completely real. Now, I am also thinking that we're probably going to want to expand out this here storage room, which is something we have to buy before we get to level 15, and then we can... What is that? We can get ourselves some restockers right over here, which means basically we just order the stock and then they put it on the shelves, which kind of like alleviates the huge thing, the huge thing that we're currently uh, stuck at. Uh, but it's 800 bucks. We're going to need shelves, all of that stuff as well. That's going to take away well, probably pay our bills, right? Pay rent as well. It's not actually that much in the grand scheme of things. Okay. So I restock that. Good, that one is done and dusted. Let's throw that over the hill. Got some salt right here. Throw that down on the ground again. Got a peanut butter. We can throw this over the hill. Excellent. And we've got two boxes of nondescript blue thing. Nice. Okay, we're pretty low on coffee. Let's go ahead and just restock the tea and coffee. Or we could not. Oh, would you look at that? Biden's buying cereal. And peanut butter. I bet he's mixing them together in some kind of, like, weird bastard concoction of cereal and and peanut butter like it's probably just gonna fill up a bowl with peanut butter and then just like pour cereal on it and then just squish it down into the peanut butter and then it's just gonna um i don't know like uh, get like one of those things one uh, what are they called um the the gag balls right but without the ball and he's gonna stick it on the bowl so he can kind of like eat from it like a mule like one of those feed sacks that you stick around horses heads and it's just gonna walk around the white house um, doddering around and falling asleep every every couple of hours. And every time he falls asleep, he's going to get a face full of peanut butter and and cereal. And it's going to be so delicious that it just wakes him up every single time. This is a scenario that I currently just pictured in my head, by the way. <laughs> I actually just pictured that, unironically. All right. Let's go ahead and throw that down. Excellent. I don't know what... I What are we doing wrong? Hello there. <laughs> I didn't expect such a tiny lady to be walking in. Is she stuck? I think she's stuck. Oh no. No, she's not stuck. What is she buying? Because she's actually a customer unlike these people. And I don't mean these people as in like a racist way. I mean these people as in like customers. Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. Disgusting. Okay, we probably need to get more fridge things, right? We probably just need to bite the bullet and get more fridge things. Seems like that shelf is just eternally cursed. Uh, I don't, I, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty stuck. Okay, let's get some milk. Let's get some eggs. Let's get some cheese. And that's all. 145 bucks in the hole. Done. And I think we bought it right before closing too. Nice. Let's get some milk down here. Excellent. Nice. People are finding exploits in Cry of Fear at 4 FPS. What do you mean, 4 FPS? Who the hell is playing that game at 4 FPS? <laughs> it's, it's annoying enough to play with less. With more, sorry. It's annoying enough to play with more. Okay, throw that over there. Okay, we've got this cheese right here. Let's stock this cheese up into the cheese section of the fridge. And I'm just going to leave this last one rotting on the floor right there. Maybe we can charge for more. Like, uh, we'll sell it as blue cheese when it starts growing a bunch of mold and stuff on it. Okay, also let that milk expire as well, because I don't particularly like our customer base. They're kind of weird, and they keep glitching out in their weird possession state. People, do you actually want to buy something? How many people are here? 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Tw uh, 11 or 12 people. There are 11 or 12 people here, which robs us of 11 or 12 customers per day. Who's? Like that door part before the mental hospital? They found a way to no clip through them without dying by just putting four FPS? No shot. No shot they did that. That's insane. Although I really vibe that. That's the kind of like exploit that I love. I look away for one minute. <laughs> what do you do? What do you mean, what did I do? I didn't do this. Take a screenshot though. That'd make a really good thumbnail. Uh, we're finishing the day. They're all broken. They're all broke. <laughs> <laughs> we've done this to ourselves <laughs> ah look it's the consequences of my own actions okay we got some coffee right here good we'll throw that back there and now we got some tea actually we could probably restock the tea and then throw that box back there good hmm now when we get the restocker 
His sole purpose is going to be to take care of this pile of boxes that we've left. That's literally it. That is the only reason we want this restocker, okay? That's all. That is all we want. We don't want them doing anything else. We don't want them thinking. We don't want them taking lunch breaks. We don't even want them going home. We don't want them calling their loved ones to say, hey, I've got this uh, position at a supermarket. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, unpaid. And also, I'm now currently a slave. We don't want any of that kind of stuff, right? Because that is bad publicity. What we want is for them to come in and just get rid of all of these boxes back here that we have neglectfully left here for eternity, maybe? Are you planning on throwing the boxes? No, 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 no. That's not our problem. That's not our problem. Okay, we got one more cheese. Oh, we didn't open the store. <laughs> That's why no one's coming in. Okay, so what else we got? We got peanut butter, uh, blue box of stuff. I think we just get, need to get another couple of boxes of all the crap at the bottom of the screen, right? This stuff? Yeah. Pasta, rice, salt, olive oil, flour, and because we can't... Can we order 12? No, we can't order any more than 10 things at a time. Okay, that's too expensive. How's our bank looking? Hey, look at this. So we could take a medium loan and that will just give us heaps and heaps of money. I think maybe we should just pay off this loan first, though. Two, two grand, though. Oh, my God. If this game functioned, we could probably actually make that with more money. All right, this guy's deciding to buy something. What are you buying? A single pack of salt. Thanks for the two dollars. What am I, a charity? What an asshole. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> is it just like badly optimized or something? Do I need to stick this here or are they just broken? No, they're just broken. It is completely broken. That one's not. What are you buying? A single bottle of oil. That's weird. Thank you very much for your charity. What a girl. Okay. Oh, this guy's uh, getting lots and lots of cheese. Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. A lot of calcium and cheese, my dude. Did you know that? Did you know there's lots of calcium and cheese? Hey, what do you think of, uh, what do you think of moldy cheese? Like blue cheese, blue vein cheese, and like, um, all that other stuff that's, that's moldy. Where are you going? Uh. He took a weird path to go down the street. Was that me? Did I do that? I feel like... The hell? Inception! Weird. Okay, they're all stuck at this shelf now. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. It might not be a popular idea. What does match the size? Okay, can't use that one. What about this one? Can we use this one? No. Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to stick this on this shelf, and then we're just going to get rid of that one. Because that one seems to be busted. Uh, we need a tiny box now. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing around. What about this one? Will this do? Yes. Good. Okay, good. So that fixed a couple of NPCs. Put that there. Throw that back over there. Uh, we need a tiny one. Where the hell would we find a tiny one? Okay, I'm trying to like, trying to, I'm trying to navigate this, uh, oh, perfect, right there. No, that's way too big. Uh, okay, there. No, that's too long. All right. Mm. Not that one there either. Oh, it's, yes, perfect. Got one. Nice. Let's get all of the salt off of these shelves. Okay, it doesn't look like anybody's, well, no, people are not glitching out over here. Perfect. Okay, let's throw that there. And you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to sell this rack. Because I think it's buggered. Okay, we want to box it up with C. Good. And now we just want to sell it. I was so wrong. <laughs> but I do kind of think, like, if we come over here and maybe if we go into the furniture section, we just get a single... Where is it? We want a single shelf. Yeah, this one right here. Okay, let's get this one here. Oh. Let's get rid of all of this. Because we can't sell anything at the moment. Let's just buy one of these right here. Purchase. Okay, this should eliminate most of the issues that people are having going between things. Wait, is that this? That's the same one that I just got. Are you serious? What? 
Oh my god. Ah, best fix. Yeah, I know, right? Where, uh, where's the... The single one? This is the one we just bought, right? Maybe it's not. Maybe I didn't buy the right one. I'll try it again. Ah, okay, so we bought the wrong one. Let's just get this one. And I think that we'll just load it up with a bunch of stuff. Okay, uh, we want to box this up and then we want to sell it by holding F. Done. Got 100 bucks for that. Awesome. Now, we probably want to just stick tea and coffee on here because those are really the only things we want to sell. Okay, let's throw this over there. Good. What is this? This is more tea. Excellent. I mean, how much can they pace around a single store? You bought the single one? I'm pretty sure you did. I'm pretty sure I got the, the double laned one, which might not be the one we wanted. Okay, we kind of have to close this one off as well, I think. We probably should have done the responsible thing of, like, getting rid of everything on here. Ah, perfect. Let's do that. Okay, good. And I hope we can get the salt out. Now, we're going to need a tiny box, I think. Okay. Let's get on top of here and let's look for that tiny box. Is that it? No, that's too long. That one's too long. Uh, the more we look, by the way, ah, perfect. The more it is likely to sink to the bottom, hilariously. Let's get rid of all the salt so these people don't get stuck. Shop! Shop, you heathens! What the hell is this guy looking for? You can't find bottled water. You're not going to find that here, buddy. You'll only find salt. Okay, good. I think this is a fix. Ah, <sighs> well, that's what you received, so I know. I guess, yep. Yeah. No, I, I definitely got the uh, the double lane shelf right here. I think we'll just use this to kind of like hold back the floodgates. But other than that, we won't worry about it too much. Let's go ahead and throw these eggs on the shelf right here so people can purchase them. Excellent. Being able to purchase things is uh, the first start of commerce. All right, what are you buying? Let's get this cheese. Probably want to stock this cheese too. Good, what are you buying? Milk? Oh, nice. We can probably get this uh, dated milk that we already have over here into the fridge then if that's the case in fact we could probably just do this yeah nice okay we'll throw that box over there done not my problem anymore perfect people are buying lots of tea i love this good that is uh what i would consider to be very healthy for my wallet okay this guy's purchasing things we don't have anybody stuck in here anymore i think we would will just use this as kind of like the floodgates Probably makes the most sense. Let's get another one of those shelves so we can actually diversify what we're selling. We'll get another two of them. Okay, the store is closed. Oh, hello there, sir. What are you buying? A single pack of salt? That's random. Good. I waited for him to actually buy that. It probably wasn't even worth my time to wait for him to purchase the salt before ending the day, but here we are. We did it. All right, let's buy these two shelves. Done, and we're going to set them up over here. Yes, I know, before anybody comments on this or says in the chat, that I'm enabling the ability to kind of, like, have these really, really crap piles of garbage back here, but it's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. Good. Now let's go to the market, and we will start buying all of the things that we wanted to buy in the first place. Can we afford it, though? This is 197 bucks. We probably need to make one single sale before we can. Milk is too expensive for me. Well, sucks to be him. Cheese is too expensive for me. Sucks to be him. Not lowering it to two dollars. You taking the piss? No. Wait, actually, profit two thirty-two off. Uh, probably should actually, maybe like two two dollars fifty. We'll be kind. We'll be kind. And the cheese is probably actually a good price anyway, but two dollars sixty. We'll go with two dollars sixty. Okay. So this guy's getting some eggs. Good for him. Bye bye, Stone Cold Steve Austin, but also Timu version. Okay, so now we can afford it. We want to go and purchase these items right here. We got a backup amount as well. Whoop! Get it before it falls over. Just stock it up on here. Excellent. And we'll throw this over there. Not my problem. Good. And let's throw this on here. Very nice. We won't worry too much about these bigger shelves because they don't appear to really work for us. See? Everyone's buying everything now. That was the problem. The problem wasn't this gigantic pile of boxes collapsing the game. The problem was where we were putting all the things for sale. Okay, we're at 30 bucks. But we did fix the issue. We fixed the issue almost completely, I would say. Yes, people are now buying things. Nice! You see, that right there is what I want to see. That, that 
is the game functioning at its core principle, right? Spent 18 bucks? I'm spending a hell of a lot. TV's peanut butter is too expensive? How about five bucks? There you go. Done. I changed the price for you, good sir. Whoever you are. Man who walks around in a in an unbelievably crisp white suit. What an asshole. Oh, we're still level 12 already. I hadn't even noticed. Okay, so we could probably do with stock more eggs in here. Because I do quite like selling eggs. Actually, I quite like selling anything that has any kind of market value. Okay, that's empty. Good. And we've got some tea here too. That's the tea shelf. And apparently salt. In case you want some salt in your tea. Is that game made by a French guy? I actually, I think it is. Because there are kind of like... There are French words all over the food. I don't even know what they say. And I'm pretty sure that it's all made up, right? I don't think that these are actually brands. Because of the Comic Sans font. What is this one? Uh, this one says peanut butter. Oh, hey, I was reading that. <laughs> Kicks someone out of the store because I was reading it. And I probably could, actually. Nah, he's buying quite a bit, actually. He seems to be a bit of a cash cow. I'll let him away with it. Okay, good. Now that we can afford it, let's get the other things that we did not buy, which was flour, olive oil, salt. That's 165 buckery booze. We're going to be able to afford it right this second. Done. We got six bucks. Excellent. Oh, apparently they couldn't find the salt. You don't say. It's probably because we sold out of it. The center either is like the eco plus cheap crap that you find at Leclerc. Comte? I don't really know what you mean, but I can kind of like relate it to what we have here in New Zealand. We've got a brand here called Pam's, which is kind of like, it's a budget brand, but every time you get it, you can virtually guarantee that you've just wasted money buying it in the first place. It was best just not to have that product anyway. Is that kind of like um, the same as, as what this uh, Comte stuff is? Simte? Eco Plus, whatever it is. Okay, we've got more oil here. We're actually selling a heap of stuff. We've already made a hundred bucks. Okay, we fixed the game. Thank the Lord. Or thank me. No, no. Whoever has more influence on the game. Might be fate. Might be me. Probably me. Probably me, actually. Fate doesn't really do a lot in video games. Okay, we've got more salt. Good. And we also got this, which is flour. Great. Done. Comte is just a cheese. Is it like a good cheese? Is it, is it the one with mold? Oh, they couldn't find coffee. That's short-sighted of us. We better fix that right now with all of the money we have. Coffee. Okay, 90 bucks worth. We're buying it. We're actually doing it. Purchase. Done. Now, we're probably going to go bankrupt because of all the uh, loan repayments that we're making. You know, the one to the bank because we took out a huge loan. Probably take out another loan now that we've kind of fixed everything, honestly. Do we want to do that? Do we want to get another loan out and then kind of like get a bunch of these shelves and stock as much as we, as we can at any given time? Maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. Or maybe we... Okay, so I do know for a fact that if we go into the management screen, well, I'll pay the bills. Fine. I'll pay bills. That's all of our money gone. Licenses. So there's one that gives you access to sushi which is incredibly expensive. Down here, two grand. So we can actually get this license. We can get this license with the big one. Not a fan of it, but yeah, there is a bit on the side. Okay. I'm not much of a cheese guy myself. All I know is uh, feta, cheese, moldy cheese, and of course, my least favorite of all of those, vegan cheese. Vegan cheese is usually hit or miss and usually miss. Usually a massive miss. <laughs> okay, good. I feel like it might be a, a real Chad play to kind of like take out a $2,000 loan and then just spend all of our money on sushi. Because I know that it sells really, really well. Maybe. May big maybe. Big maybe. Maybe we go with one of these earlier ones first. Like this yogurt chocolate bar cereal. There's also a bunch of cleaning stuff. I imagine these are going to be in large quantities, but cost less. There's also orange juice soda, a bunch of this stuff as well. 550 bucks. Okay, we won't do it just yet. Let's turn the lights on because I can't see anything. Sorry, sir. I didn't realize you were 
fumbling around in the dark at the automatic checkout trying to pack your items in the dark. Ah, well, not my problem. None of this is my problem. I'm just an employee. I'm just a franchisee. I'm just a, a poor, starving franchisee. Let's go ahead and stick that there. And probably the worst economy I've ever seen since uh, st setting foot out of my own, my own office. Okay, I'll put that there. Good. Wow, the uh, flour and the rice doesn't really sell that well, does it? Hmm. Yeah, we got like, um, we got Pam's here, who is, they are a brand, and I don't want to talk a bunch of crap about them, simply because they do kind of like provide a cheap alternative to a lot of things, so a lot of families can eat on a budget, which is very hard to do here in New Zealand. But at the same time, you'll be tricked into getting the cheapest canned tomatoes every now and then if you want to make a pasta, and getting theirs is literally just tomato juice. Like, like it says chopped tomatoes on the can, but it's just juice. It's, it's literally just a full liquid. There's hardly any tomato skin or anything like that in there. Any of the stuff that we you would necessarily want in a pasta. It basically just makes a soup. Oh, we made 200 bucks yesterday. It's pretty good, actually. Okay, so we probably do want to get ourselves another license, right? I am going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going into... I'm going into the bank. I'm taking the loan. I took a $2,000 loan. I'm going to use it to pay off this first loan. Oh, yes. And we still have 1700 bucks left. Oh, we haven't paid our... Uh, oh, no. I suppose we better pay rent then. <laughs> Embarrassing. Now we're down to 1440 Ooh, That hurts. Ow. Okay, we'll go into the market. We'll buy one of those licenses. Actually, we'll probably want to do that first, right? We'll get something that sounds like it'd be really expensive. I know cheese isn't necessarily expensive. The orange juice might be our first best bet, but so is cake and candy and cereal and stuff. Okay, we did that. We got a bunch of bon papa, pepite, and we got some bon be. Or bon bec, I don't know. I know French people don't necessarily uh, pronounce the last letter of their words, unless under very strict circumstances. What is this? There's crispy chibi, bon papa, there's pepite, there's bon be, and fruge, and chocolate. Chocot? Is that what it's supposed to be? I don't know. I don't speak French. Okay, let's buy two cases of literally everything. Oh my god, these are all such crap value. Oh no! No! Oh no! They suck! We just wasted our money on a gamble and it did not pay off. Ooh, that's gonna be a hard one to recover from with a $2,000 loan. Okay. <laughs> ah, well, we'll stock it anyway. Why not? What's the harm? Hopefully it's got a real high markup. Okay, we'll throw that over the wall there. What is the markup on this bad boy? Whoa, market price, five bucks. Set that as six. Done. So next is whatever this is, chocolate. Let's stock all of this. Throw that over the wall. Kind of flipped it, didn't really get it. That's four bucks each. That's actually not that bad. I kind of like that. That's not bad. I do like that. We also got Bun Papa. Bun Papa. I don't know if I'm even saying it right. I hope I'm not offending all of the French people. Uh, this is market price of $2.10. I'll tend to agree with that. Sure, we probably want to get ourselves another shelf. Let's go ahead and do that. Furnitures. A single shelf. Perfect. Actually, screw that. No. Let's color this. Salmon colored. Or fair response red. We're about to find out. Purchase. Done. What is it? It is... Oh! Oh! Brother, oh! 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 <laughs> oh, caveat, emptor! Oh! I don't want to use this! Oh! I was actually about to throw that box out as well. <laughs> it's disgusting. I've got the original name brand, but I can recognize the package. Oh, look at these pipetis. Pipeti. Whoops, almost went to throw that out too. That was close. Uh, what does this cost? This is $4.20. No, how about $4.50? Done. Nine bucks? Sure, I'll take it. Bun papa? Bun papa? That's good dad, isn't it? Ooh. I don't want to... I don't want to sell anything called good dad. Ah, this needs to be a refrigerator. That makes sense. It's yogurt. Wow. You can sell a lot of this. 
wonder what the, um, I wonder what the cost of it is. Two dollars each. Actually, that's not bad for just having, like, a consistent thing to draw people into the store. That's pretty damn good. Got some more boom ba ba <laughs> Got some biscuits, I think. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't know. I don't, I don't speak much French. All of my French literally came from me kind of, like, going on holiday to a French place for just over a week. All I know is, uh, je suis un touriste de Nouvelle-Zélande. And then everyone's all like real nice. They're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I don't even know what I'm saying, honestly, half the time. Okay, I'll throw that over there. What do we got here? More cereal. Perfect. We don't want to confuse anybody, so let's not stock that just yet. Where's the oil? Okay. Oil's getting pretty low. Throw that box over there. Good. What else we got? Bin pepper? Mm, non? Non messy? Throw that there. And we'll get this on the rack right there. Great. Done. We like tourists, not gonna lie. How come? Do you like American tourists? Because that's always that meme, right? There's always this thing that American tourists are always quite loud and obnoxious. But I, here in New Zealand, we don't necessarily agree with that. Americans come here and they're just lovely. They're just lovely people. There's no firearm violence. There's no, like, gang wars. There's nothing that you expect out of them. You know, they're just... Uh, they're just happy to be around. I live in Nice. Is it Nice or Nice? So our tourists, people are... Oh, okay. You got nice tourists. That's good. I live in Dunedin, New Zealand. So our, to our, to uh, our tourists are just psychopaths. Like, in every single sense of the word. If you want to book yourself a two-week holiday for you and your family from China to come to the most miserable place... In the world, you're a psycho, honestly. Dunedin, New Zealand has some of the most revolting weather of New Zealand by a significant margin. We have coined the term thunderplump, which is a flash thunderous rainstorm on a sunny day with the black clouds and everything like that, and they happen multiple times a year. You said it first with the French? Nice? Is that it? Nice? Okay, I've learned something. We got black ice. If you didn't know that existed in the first place, you get a slip on your ass and all the locals are going to laugh at you because you didn't know about black ice. Ah, that guy just slipped at the crosswalk and fell over. He probably hurt himself, but he should have known better. That's, that's pretty much what Dunedin's like. Uh, if it's sunny, don't go out in it. We got a hole above our ozone layer, so you're going to get sunburned pretty bad. And if it's an overcast day, again, got to wear sunblock. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, it's one of those places. Even the diffusion through fog can sunburn you here. It's crazy. What else we got? Uh, a bunch of gang stuff as well. Kind of like poking its, its wee nose out of the woodwork every now and then. Like, I, if you choose to take your children here, you got to be a sp very specific sort of sigma. Okay, what else are we low on? We're low on spaghetti. I don't think we have any. We are completely out of coffee. Okay, let's go ahead and just buy more coffee. Oh my god, we're almost out of grand. Holy hell! Jesus! Okay, it's all turning up our way. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this right here, just so we have it on the shelves. Dunion rings. Good, let's go ahead and throw... Oh, I'm stuck in the door. Let's go ahead and throw this up here. Excellent. And uh, that goes over the hill. Turn that light on right there so everybody can see. All right. We'll throw this in the corner right here. We're kind of running low on, like, the backup stuff. We need more... Uh, we need more blue box, right? Actually, we need basically everything. In every way, shape, and form, we need. Okay, let's just buy it. We'll get more ch uh, two cheese, four eggs, sure, two milks, uh, teas. We'll get two teas. Fine. All right, that's half our money gone. Peanut butter, flour, olive oil, yes. Pasta, basmati rice, done. And you know what else I'm going to get? Heaps of salt. Sure, why not? Okay, and that's everything except for the last menu. What are we missing here? Actually, Bumpapa seems to be selling out at an alarming rate. That's fun to say. God, I love the French language so much. I always wonder why French people go move to English-speaking countries. I bet we sound like total Neanderthals, comparatively. Okay, done. We'll throw that over there. Good. We are literally going out into what most horror films would call... The alleyway you don't go down, just to get our stock so we can refill these fridges. 
Very concerning. Okay, pull all of that up. It seems like the whole trade and volume thing is actually very effective. Even though I'm kind of throwing boxes all over the place and it's an absolute mess, it's still functioning. It's still functioning really, really well. Uh, all the salts there. Sorry that, about that, sir. I just threw a box of salt at his face. Although he didn't go anywhere, so we can very safely assume that he is not, in fact, a demon. Okay, good. Let's keep on start hucking this down into the fridges. Eggs are next. Great. Our English accent is just fire. Ugh. Oh, I, tr I used to be able to do a really, really good French accent, but it's kind of disappeared. Now every time I do it, it sounds Greenlandish. Okay. I was thinking about maybe d pulling one out, but it, d it will just sound offensive. Uh, okay, so peanut butter. We do have peanut butter done. We are missing the white boxes of crap, basically. This one right here, spaghetti. Italian brand spaghetti. Generic mouse spaghetti. Okay. We've got some tea, fortunately. Our tea stores are actually getting a little bit low. We don't really mind people's accents, to be honest. Well, that's probably how you can stomach my New Zealand accent. We got voted the sexiest accent, uh, I think, in, like, 2020 or something like that. I don't even know who vo Like, who hosts that? Who hosts the world's sexiest accent? That doesn't make sense to me. I'm not going to argue, but, like, at the same time, it, like, it was just wrong. <laughs> it was just wrong. Because when you're hearing New Zealander, they either... They live in New Zealand and they, they live in... Auckland and Wellington and they kind of talk like this and they always sound congested and all that stuff but you know I wouldn't necessarily call them sexy sounding and then the further south you go the more likely you are to get some guys who are like ah oh, yeah let's go out on my best night boys and <laughs> gonna go hunting together the weekend try and skin me up and deer you know like bumpkin Australian kind of, kind of thing spaghetti not spaghetti what have you not seen that meme somebody touch my spaghetti it's a classic. It was a Disney. Lamel? Yeah, no, we don't, we, we don't necessarily have sexy accents. Uh, I sound this way because I kind of like custom tailor my accent to sound nice. <laughs> so if I didn't do this, I'd probably be sounding more like this. I'd probably be sounding more like somebody who's actually from Dunedin, who generally sounds like um, a slack jaw from Cape Town. Okay, good. This is holding back the floodgates pretty well. Oh my god, that's building up real high. I'd say it's probably at about two-thirds capacity at this point. I'd say we're doing pretty well, regardless. Oh, Jürgen yogurt is too expensive for me. Poor baby. Cry in your Ferrari. Oh, the government's here. I paid. I paid my taxes. Let's go ahead and stock this cheese. Those people have their own world at this point, not gonna lie. I know, right? I know. Oh, a lot of the government's here. Oh, they can't afford yogurt. Ah, well. Is it actually too expensive? Maybe it is too expensive. Why is that? Oh, the mar Yeah, that is actually a pretty big margin. Let's go ahead and just uh, make 60 cents per. God, honestly, it's not so bad. It's probably going to waste a bit of time of people scanning them as they put them through the self-checkout, but it's not actually that bad. I'm also very surprised that the single self-checkout has served us this well for this long. We're almost at level 15. We've barely done a, th a thing. We've barely lifted a finger. Okay, I'm going to stock these eggs down here because it seems like no one's getting confused anymore. It seems like people are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. You got feds at the supermarket? I know, right? Do you remember when I, I opened up my emails and there were just a billion bills right there that said overdue and I was like, oh. <laughs> it's probably going to happen again, honestly, if we go back into it. Management? Bills. Oh, no, we did that yesterday. Okay, good. Nice, we'll get on top of that this time. The single shelf fixed it, that's cool. I know, right? Every time I have broken a game, I've found a fix. I've found a fix for it. I don't know how it's a superpower of mine, but it's always worked out in my favour. What the hell goes down here? I don't know what that is. Is that cheese? What is that? I think it's one of the last items in the, in the list. It is... It's either Schokot or it's Frögen. Which is German. That's not French. I'm certain of that. Bonbeck? Bonbeck is literally cement. I don't know why people are buying that. I like pipi de. Bon papa. Okay. Uh, crispy chibi. We should probably just start restocking all of these things, right? Because they do actually appear to 
be making us lots and lots of money. Right? Or maybe it's because we're committing to actually stocking them. Maybe that's what's making us money. The fact that we have lots and lots of fingers in our pies at once. What a disgusting phrase. Ooh. I can't unlike... Someone pointed out that it was a double entendre, and I couldn't unhear it. Ah, this is it. The bunke. I'm pretty sure that's not French. Okay, let's throw that over there. Done. What is this? Let's go ahead and throw this down. Throw it down like we're at a metal concert. Nice. And this is... Questionable box of basmati rice. Is she going to take any? No. No, she is not. I was going to... I was waiting for her to take it so we could restock. What about this one? Yep, let's uh, restock the... Okay, uh, what's in here? A little bit of flour. That's fine. We're out of oil. Can't let that go unstocked. Bumbik is the way to say candy. I don't know if it's actually French. We've actually got a weird way as well. I don't necessarily know if I like the way New Zealand says their word for candy. I like the word candy, right? It rolls off the tongue like candy. But what we call them here are lollies. I don't... It's, it's weird. It's, it's really, really weird. Because around the world, if you say lolly, people assume that it's like a lollipop, right? But here in New Zealand, if you say anything other than lollies, people look at you strange. Like you're not from here. Clearly I am from here. I just like the other word more. <laughs> Stop vilifying me! Okay, good. This is concerning. It's gyrating. It's settling, though. Oh, one slipped out. It's embarrassing. Throw that back in. Here we go. Done. <laughs> Fix that one. Fix that issue. Good. Honestly, this thing is not only holding back the floodgates, but it's also single-handedly checking out all of our customers as well. It's fantastic. Just keep the word how it is. I like, I like candy. I like candy. I like the word candy. And everyone knows exactly what you mean when you say it as well. Whereas lolly is just a weird dialect. It's a weird, weird dialect. I'm no stranger to weird dialects, but like that one is just... It's, it's, it's unusual beyond recompense. Okay, let's go ahead and throw all these eggs down. We are still one... Okay, I'll put that there. <laughs> just make another stockpile of eggs. Let's put the lights on. Why not? What's the harm? We've got more pipi Uh, Milk should probably be restocked down here. It's a little bit obnoxious that there isn't a crouch function in this game. Oh, hello there. Oh my god. That guy was like golem stroking whatever he was buying. The bun papa. Is that like cake mix? What is that? Or is it just like banana bread? I don't know. Can't see. Ah. Why muddy the waters? Why muddy the waters with linguistics? Put that milk there. It's expired, by the way. It's been there for a long, long time. Uh, we're out of coffee. Weird. Let's go ahead and throw that up there, and we'll throw that box over there. Good. Uh, we got lots of peanut butter, which, honestly, could not come at a better of time. Lady, do you want some peanut butter, please? I beg you. I beg you, buy some peanut butter. I'm literally begging you. Please buy one peanut butter jar. I will do anything you please. Oh, screw you. Sir. Oh, no. No! We've got one peanut butter jar in that box. That hurts. Hello there, Wisteria 2D. Okay, what have we got next? People are still coming in. Oh, no, we're not closed yet. We're almost closed. This is a busted-ass place. We've busted this place so bad. We've got a grand. We've almost got a grand. That's pretty good. I think we might be able to pay off that loan that we took out today, tomorrow. Wouldn't that be awesome? What a Sigma move that one was, right? We literally took off our loan. We took a loan. We paid off the last loan with it. And then we went ahead and bought a license with it so we could sell more. And now we're making half the loan's entire net worth in a day. That's crazy. Ain't YouTube blocked in Russia? Works without a VPN somehow? Google is the best blocker? I feel like, um... I don't know if I agree with, like, Google services being banned in Russia. Like, I understand where they're coming from, but isn't it kind of, like, virtue signally? Like, what what stake does Google have in the war? They should really... They should, uh, corporations should kind of, like, stay out of that, in my opinion. It's also kind of like a communication barrier. I don't know. Like, <laughs> why impose it? Why impose it? It's a little superfluous. I'll throw that over here. Also, I'm not entirely sure how you guessed that they were Russian. Good guess, though. If it was... If it was right. 
Otherwise, bad guess. All right, we'll throw all this tea down up here. The very cash money. And we got an empty box. Nice. More for the pile. <laughs> it's gyrating. A oh. little bit of an avalanche. Oh, no. What the hell is going on? I feel like this is a powder keg. <laughs> it's going to go off any second. We're also only a level and a bit away from getting ourselves the restocker. So once we have about maybe, what... 800 bucks for the expansion. Actually, we can do that right this second. Let's do that. We'll do that right now. I paid rent. We are going to grow. We are going to not get section three. That is not what we want. We want floor spaces. This is not what we want. What the hell? Products. No. Okay. Not under that one. Management. It's got to be under management, right? Storage. Okay, here. 800 bucks down the hole. Done. Oh. Okay, we got it. That's still locked. I'm not entirely sure why. But we do have the store. Ah, oh, okay. So we need to expand out the storage area, which is going to require another 800 bucks. We don't need to do that, though. We can actually just get a storage shelf under furnitures, I think. Where is it? We don't even have to get a big one, either. Small rack, tall rack. We get a tall rack. It's actually not that expensive. It's only 250 bucks. So once we get about 300 bucks, because we need to pay for shipping, we should probably get a storage rack and then once we start getting a restocker in they're going to come over they're going to look at these aisles right here and they're going to think oh what is this supposed to have is it on there if not let's go to the storeroom check to see if it's in the storeroom and then we'll we'll go onwards and we'll restock the shelves hello there weird low poly man have you decided to share what your curse is with me today why your fidelity is so low and what is up with your arms i can't place it this guy's just creepy He's got a really weird chest. It looks like if somebody just like maxed out the sliders and once human. Oh, hello there, sir. Okay, good. He's buying a lot of stuff. Nice. Love it. Love to see it. Uh, we are never going to use this shelf for anything other than just holding back the floodgates. Good. We'll throw that over there. And we still have some more to go over there. Done. And let's go ahead and see if the salt is good. Kind of. Kind of good, kind of not. Okay, we're pretty low on resources, actually. We probably should just get some more. I don't know if I want to just start sticking to the bottom six, or if we kind of want to diversify everything, though. I don't think we bother with the yogurt. I don't think we bother with that. What the hell? YouTube ain't showing my comment? It's probably the auto, mod auto, mod uh, auto moderation settings. There are a lot of auto moderation settings on the channel at the moment. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything to get around them. We'll get the cereal because it's a nice expensive thing. We'll get some coffee and probably peanut butter. Yes. And we've still got two more little slots. How about this pasta? It only comes in eights. So this might be a good idea. We still need 400 bucks to buy that. She only gave us three bucks. Wow. She contributed nothing. I love how this tiny, tiny lady beat this really tall man. Staring blankly off into the distance over her head. Probably upset that he's... Actually, he looks stoned as a kite, doesn't he? Sorry, he looks high as a uh, Middle Eastern thief. Probably explains what he was buying. What a dick. Okay, so we are halfway to our target of 400 buckery booze. Oh! Hey, would you look at that? <laughs> Look, we've got things. We've got things we can restock. Completely forgot about these. Got some more bonbon. Go ahead and throw them all down here. Done. And what is this? This is cereal, which isn't selling too well. That's fine. Once there's no more options, people won't have a choice but to buy our ridiculously overpriced cereal. Let's go ahead and fill up this here rack of yogurt. I'm a big yogurt guy. A big Greek yogurt guy. Oh, we've only got two left. That's annoying. Uh, ah. Okay, that is cereal. Excuse me, sir. I'm throwing boxes here. We've still got some more bun -pa -pa. Where does this go? Just down here. Let's fill this shelf up. Hopefully someone's going to take one of these. Lady in the orange trench coat? Do you want to maybe take one bun -pa -pa? No? Anyone? Anyone want to take one bun -pa -pa? Un bun -pa -pa? S'il vous plaît? Or not? Sorry, I saw the thing on the wall right there, and I thought that our computer was on fire for a second. 
Okay, what else we got? Uh, people are not buying the yoga. People are not buying Bun Papa. And we still have some of these things. I think we have enough. Yeah, good. Perfect. Done. That's that box. Done, dusted. I've kind of gimped our ability to get through the front door of the supermarket. But I think that's absolutely fine. Okay, let's throw this that way. What else we got? We got some more of these Bon Becks. And these here. I feel like the game is going to break soon. Nonsense! That, what game has ever broken from overloading the CPU with too many uh, collidable objects? It doesn't happen. Okay, we've got some more Bun Papa. Let's go ahead and throw that there. Just so that it's where we need it to be. And we also got some more of these. Throw that there because we don't really want to buy it. This chocolate kind of sells fast. Never mind, I lied. I completely lied. Okay, we need more coffee. We actually need a few more things that are just kind of... Bits and bobs, I'd say. Let's go back into the market. We'll empty out our cart for everything except for... Actually, we've kind of got most of the things we need. Probably don't want four bags of coffee. <laughs> Probably doesn't make a lot of sense. We'll get this coffee right here. Uh, this, Sorry, this peanut butter. And we will buy it tomorrow. Uh, sir, we're closed. We are closed, sir. Sir, we are closed. Sir, sir, we are closed. <laughs> a single peanut butter. <laughs> we, sir, 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 Biden, President Biden, we are closed. You cannot purchase things in here. Oh, more cereal for your your feed sack. Okay, you have a great day, Biden. What the hell is going on? I feel like the game is already broken. This guy's buying a lot, actually. This guy looks like Harvey Dent. Yeah, we trust him. I'm logged in on an old account here on my laptop. Hi, Wisteria. I recognize the name from the other account that you uh, you posted from. We're done with the day. Screw that. <laughs> We're off. We're not serving another customer. Okay. And it is the next day. So now we probably want to go ahead and get this order done. And we'll go stock it, obviously. Otherwise, we won't be able to sell it. Nice. Put that a bit. Good. And we've also got this peanut butter that I am going to dump onto the shelf right here. And then I'm going to throw that in the corner because I am a Philistine. And this peanut, can go, peanut butter can go in the corner as well. This peanut butter. Wow, we got a lot of peanut butter, didn't we? Uh, we got some more Chocopic cereal for once. Nice. People are going to be so delighted. The people who actually eat it. Oh, hello there. Sorry. I think I accidentally collided my head with him. Some more chocolate right there. Great. And we also got this Narvalo coffee, which we are desperately uh, in need of selling. Let's throw that up there. What have we got? More spaghetti. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw that down. What's this? That's peanut butter. I definitely know peanut butter when I see it. I my God, I just opened another peanut butter. I can't believe this. Okay, we'll put this coffee right here as well. Boop. Okay, good. Seems like they are actually... Oh. Oh, it's, it's moving. Okay, it stopped. Good. That bought a lot of coffee. Oh my god, my man. Oh, that was courteous of her. I think, is that the one with the tramp stamp? She just got to tramp my ass. She did, she's courteous. And she likes cheese. I don't know many tramps that like cheese, to be quite honest. Might be a bit of a base take, but I just, I just don't know many. All right, good. That's another empty box that we can stick into the pit. Uh, great, we got more yogurt here. We'll use that later, I suppose. Ah, good, nice. And we could probably start filling this up with more bun papa. Good, nice. We got more cereal. Actually, there is some cereal that can be placed down over here. Don't know if we've got enough. Yeah, we got enough. Perfect. Into the pit. Nice. Okay, so we've got three hundred and forty bucks to our name. We still have two grand of debt, which is not amazing. Oh, this uh, fell through the through the hole. It's making me a little sweaty. This guy's buying a bunch of stuff. Look at him go! His nice little bow tie. Twenty four fifty, my man. This guy's getting lots of chocolate. I bet he's got a hot date tonight, or a cold date. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to preempt of how a date is going to go. 
uh, temperature-wise, before it actually happens. Usually it's in one of those in-the-moment kind of deals, right? All right, got more peanut butter. We'll restock this peanut butter. Good. And what is this? More peanut butter? My God. Got a lot of peanut butter. Maybe I should start dressing up in it. Just start dressing up in the peanut butter. Okay, got more chocolate cereal on the shelf right there. Great. We already got 400 bucks. Got a lot of people at the self-checkout. Nice! This is all coming up trumps. Oh, apparently something's too expensive. What's too expensive? It's not the coffee. Is it the spaghetti? It's probably the spaghetti. Let's be real. It's probably spaghetti. Let's go ahead and lower that to six. Closer to market price. That one's perfect. Good. Okay, this guy is uh, only buying a single pack of salt. He's either baking or he's an exorcist. It's hard to tell. All right, the Punisher just bought himself a tiny single serve tub of pink yogurt. That's hilarious. It's a shame the Punisher TV show got cancelled, honestly. With John Burnfall, I love that TV show. That was such a good TV show, in my opinion. I don't know if other people agree with me. I tend to have hot takes when it comes to TV shows, apparently. A lot of people didn't like the... What are they? The Rings of Power. A lot of people hated the Rings of Power, and I absolutely adored it. It was really, really good, in my opinion. Okay, we'll restock the pipi No one's buying them, actually. Let's not do that. And we've got another box of them as well. We've got some more of these here. Bon Bix. And what is this? More cereal? The cereal sells fast. The cereal's good. Okay, maybe we just want to keep on selling the cereal. All right, these guys are checking themselves out. Good. Love to see it. I'm not entirely sure if we want to make a sprint for the... No. I was going to say let's pay off our loan, but actually piss on that entirely. Let's instead get ourselves a really tall rack, and for the storage, of course, and we'll kind of rush getting a restocker as soon as possible, because this seems to be our choke. I'll put this right here, blocking the light in the window so that no one can see the sun. Now we want to basically just start stocking things in here, right? I don't watch any TV shows, series, or movies, to be honest. Uh, I kind of go in and out of phases of it. Uh, when I have, like, a spare... If I have a spare week to myself and I, I'm not doing anything, I'll watch a TV show, maybe. At most. I won't really watch anything else. If I kind of, have, like, have a few hours to myself, I'll usually catch up on all the YouTube drama stuff before I start making my way over to movies. I got an Amazon Prime subscription. That's about it. Other than that, it's just YouTube. Umperville, Markiplier, Turkey Tom sometimes. He's a bit of a dick, but I quite like how he presents his entertainment series. And he does a really good job of categorizing and cataloging kind of like all of the, the like drama that you would want to see on YouTube. Like Chris Chan and, and all the degenerates, essentially. All that, all that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm looking around here for things that we probably want to start over-purchasing. So that the restocker always has a good amount. It's probably going to be salt. It's got a hundred bucks worth of salt. Oops. So that the restocker always has something to do with it. Oh my god. We got to put this there. And then I'll get another one. And I'll put it there. And I'll get another one. And I'll put it here. The reason I got salt is because it's really compact. And it stacks super easily into these here uh, gigantic racks. One there. And probably yogurt as well would be a really good idea. Coffee also might be a really good one to have too. One there, one there. That's oh, kind of hard to see. We are coming up on closing time-ish. Okay, good. We could probably fit another seven of these up there. Or eight. Put another eight of those up there. It's really dark in here, guys. Why don't you have the lights? There you go. See? You can see. What are you doing? Okay, good. We're also halfway uh, to level 15, which is exactly when we're going to get our restocker. So let's go ahead and go into the market. What else can we have? Probably lots and lots of this frozen yogurt stuff. That would be a really good idea. Maybe eight of them would be a really good idea. Yeah, let's go ahead and get eight of these. And we'll start stocking these as well there. Now, as long as we kind of like have the inventory spot dedicated to the article the restocker is actually also going to restock our uh wingle dingers inside of this rack which is just perfect as soon as we buy them from the street that was what the newest update kind of added to the game and it's exactly what i wanted to be added to the game actually i'm not gonna do anything like that i'm just gonna throw that on the ground we're gonna get that one out of the rack right there we'll throw it on the ground get rid of that label okay is anyone still shopping 
Yes, this lady is buying an absolute arse light. I could hear the beeps from the storeroom. What's she, sp what's she paying? 31 bucks. Yuck. Okay, she couldn't find the oil. Watch me here. I'm going to let these people check out, honestly. Uh, while we kind of decide the last thing that we want to kind of start stocking as well. I feel like the cereal here, the crispy chibi is pretty good. But we could probably do better with these pipi de. Maybe? I'm looking at the unit prices of these things. Or maybe the Bonbex? Actually, we probably need lots and lots of olive oil, right? There's probably a, a higher markup. Yeah, let's get 10 olive oils. Actually, no, let's not get 10 olive oils. Let's get six, because I think six is the amount that will actually stack on the shelf. Okay, good. Ending the day. Nice. We'll start the next day immediately. And now we want to go ahead and just order this right here. Even though it's 300 bucks, done. As soon as we get the restocker in, we are not going to be caught with our pants down. Put that there. And I'll put that one there. I'm kind of like going on one side of the shelf because it's quicker to stack all these onto. Once we get the restocker in here, we can basically stick one item here. And then there will be this label that pops up that tells you exactly how many of the item, the article that you actually have on the rail. And then the restocker will basically pick all of the excess up from the street or wherever they are, and they'll stack them back on the stack here if there's nowhere in the supermarket to put them, which is really handy. But we are going to need to kind of like get a little bit more experience before we get there. We are getting quite a bit of experience, actually, from this automatic checkout. Okay, I'm going to start restocking this here yogurt. We probably also want to restock this yogurt. We get heaps of it in a single bucket, and it appears to be very lucrative. Okay, we'll put that one there. And this one can go there. Excellent. So we've got yogurt on there as well. Another big ticket item is tea. Probably want lots and lots of tea. And we're already out of coffee, annoyingly enough. Do we have any more coffee? We should do. No, maybe we don't. How do we sell coffee so fast? Okay, we'll get more coffee and we'll also get some more tea. We definitely want tea. We want tea basically at all times. We get four tea and two coffee. That's going to cost us 260, which we can definitely wait for. I think these three people are probably going to top us up to exactly what we need. And if they don't, damn fart. Oh, she couldn't find bottled water. It's because we don't sell it. Okay. We've got Barbie over here with her tramp stamp coming on over. Nice. Just getting a couple of bun papa. Good dad. And this guy here, what is he buying? Quite a bit. Maybe this guy will set us over the edge. What do we need? We need 260, 270 bucks, basically. Okay, good. Let's uh, kind of like restock while we're waiting. Throw that over there. And um, what is this? This is a pipite, I think. And this is bun papa. <laughs> Don't even know if I'm saying these words right. Okay, we'll get more candy up here, up on the front of house. And we're pretty much good aside from that. We just need to keep on restocking all of this other crap that we kind of keep neglecting over here. And we'll get some spaghetti over on this shelf. Good. Peanut butter's pretty low. We could probably use this one on it and get that box out of the way. This one here. We'll also put the peanut butter... Oh, we're one short again. Oh, that's so annoying. We'll get the salt up here. We'll throw that box over the hill. Nice, and we got more peanut butter, unsurprising, and more peanut butter. Maybe we want to start stocking peanut butter down in the storeroom too. That could be a good idea, actually. Might be a really good idea. Put the peanut butter up here. There's 12 of them in a pack, honestly. Might just be a really good idea to do so regardless of whether or not we are going to be selling it full time. Okay, good. And now we can go ahead and buy our cart. Done. So we do want tea. On one of these racks, probably there, so we can see it immediately without having to consult our dickhead, who is going to be kind of like transitioning everything around us. The restocker. But that's what I mean by dickhead. Okay, let's put that there. We'll throw this over the hill. We are so close to getting him in, by the way. Like, so, super, so, so close. I think it might be like two more sales. Might do it. Might tip us over the edge of level 15. Is this going to be it? Is this it? Is this where we get the restocker? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Management. Okay, we've got our first restocker monkey. 
Oh, hiring costs 100 bucks. Okay, so close. So, so close. We need this lady to check out a lot. Yeah, she's going to get it. She's going to get exactly what we need. Nice. Okay, she's buying a little bit of chocolate. That's great to see. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm talking to that, to that lady, not, not the viewers. You guys love it when I burp into the microphone. I'm certain of it. Okay, let's close this out. Management, we've got our first restocker. What the hell? Whoops. Get out of that. Working, use unlabeled racks. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of cool. Uh, maybe we don't, maybe you do want that. Maybe we don't want that, actually. We won't let him use the unlabeled racks. All right, where is he? He's in the pit. Oh, he's literally throwing out all of the boxes. Oh no, would you look at that? It's the consequences of my own actions. Thank God for the, R the uh, RTX 4070 Ti though, huh? The game hasn't crashed. We got a restocking monkey. The game hasn't crashed. Just throw that over there. Okay, so this guy's gonna be checking out. Maybe at this point, Oh, we haven't even stocked these crispy chippies. Throw that over there. Good. And we've also got some spaghetti that we can kind of like dump there. Good. Right. We've got a peanut butter in this pack right here. We'll throw that over there. And we've also got a single salt. Good. Nice. Awesome. Maybe I should help out, but I don't want to. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, Took all of these in there. I did say it's not a me problem. What is this? Yogurt? Yep. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll go ahead and help this guy out, throwing out all these boxes. Fine. If that is what you need. I will help. I will help. God, I'm moving so fast that the sound is literally bending around me. Okay. I wonder how many of these there are. I mean, it was, a, it was a funny bit for a bit, but... Wait, is he actually teleporting boxes onto his hand? What the hell? Do that again, sir! Do that again! He is not even making a dent. He is not even making a dent! Oh! Hey! That's pretty good! <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe this works! Okay, so it seems like he's actually teleporting items into his hand. Okay, no, he's just getting them manually now. All right. All right, you idiot. If only there was like a setting that prevented them from kind of having the autonomy to do it themselves, right? Let's just kind of stack into these. This one box here. I think these pipites we might want to keep in storage. Might be a really good idea, actually. Let's do that. We'll go ahead and we'll throw all of our money down on pipite. I think we're closed, so we can't buy it now, but we will buy it tomorrow. Yeah, 50 dead. Six of them. Add to cart, 226 buckery booze later. That is absolutely fine. We basically want to stock a, a bunch of cash cows. Okay, I don't know what he's going to be doing, but I'm ending the day. <laughs> we made 65 bucks today. That's good. I like that. 65 bucks is still profit. Okay, let's go ahead and fill this up right here. We'll replace some of these pippy dip. And now... Ah, we put everything up on the shelf, so we just have to get rid of this pile of boxes. I don't want to get rid of it. Is there a way of, like, telling them not to clean up? Surely there is, right? Maybe. We'll go back into the employee screen. Management. All right. Working. Well, I can't... I, oh, here we go. Let's tell them not to use the unlabeled racks. Buddy, can you do literally anything else? All right, fine. I'll start helping out, I guess. The hell? My dude, you made a mess. <laughs> you made a huge mess. Okay, we are now completing the massive undertaking that is Mount Trash. We are getting rid of Mount Trash. I'll help you, buddy. Don't say I never did anything for you. This one goes into the trash next. Excellent. In fact, this is probably actually a really, really good time just to get rid of this shelf, right? Okay, we'll box it up. Because uh, it kind of breaks the game a little bit. And we'll just sell it. All right. Good. Done. We'll get all of these thrown away. We all knew this day was going to come someday. We all knew it. 
And as soon as I restart the game, all of these are going to be gone, which we could actually use to our advantage. Oops. That's full. Uh, throw it, you idiot. Thanks. <laughs> I was trying to throw the box and it just wouldn't take. All right, good. Got this box right here. Go ahead and throw that in there. Got another box right here. Throw it in there. That trash can probably has the pressure of, I don't know, like four kilometers beneath the sea inside of it right now. It's like the Mariana's Trench of pressure right now. We're just dumping boxes into it. Massive, massive loads. Is he going to do the teleport thing? No, he is not. That sucks. Oh, well. We've already made 400 bucks today. That's pretty good. I like that. So here's the plan, right? I basically want the restocker to come in and restock the shelves. Basically everything that I miss. All of those essentials, I want him to go in. I want him to restock everything. That's basically the plan. Okay. We're going to get rid of all of this. We don't really have a choice. <laughs> it seems to be the only thing that's now gimping our progress. Okay, we'll throw all of that down. Oh, apparently that guy came in for some candy and we didn't have any. All right, good. I don't know if this is kind of like satisfying to watch. I'm getting a little bit of satisfaction out of this, actually. I'm getting some of the endorphins. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> what happened there? Weird. Okay, good. This needs a time lapse, right? This needs a time lapse. I'll be making one, I think. All right, let's throw all of this down here. Done. Done. That one's in there. And the next one goes in here. It's kind of nice to be able to leave all of these customers, these pesky customers alone. Because they're so needy. Oh my God. Serve me. Take my money. That kind of stuff. Like, it's just absolutely just a pain in the ass. We are so done with it. We are so done with their problems, to be quite frank. Frank Castle, who's probably actually on the street right now. No. Weird. The Punisher is not actually on the street. Strange. That's probably a first. Given the statistical likelihood of him actually being out on the street, his player model. Okay, we're still making uh, quite a dent, you know. Now, main question. Can we stick this chick out in the box. I don't know. I'm about to find out. No. Okay. It's in the way. Let's just stick this uh, somewhere else then. What the hell? I can't put this away. What the hell? Stop. <laughs> what the hell is going on? The game is bugged and no one can buy anything. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. Okay, we actually have to leave because I don't have access to... Okay, fine. I'll do a save real quick. And then we'll quit to the menu. We'll go back in. The mountain is going to be gone, unfortunately. I wanted to finish that too. <laughs> ah! It was a thing I, I didn't want to happen that broke the game. Okay, there you go. All of the boxes are gone. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and try and drop this literally anywhere else. Like, right next to the door, maybe. Probably a good place to drop it. So this guy's actually going to come along and start restocking all of our minimum storage, which is fantastic. Get rid of that label right there. Excellent. Let's go ahead and start sticking some of these chocolates down. I'll just throw that next to the door so he doesn't have to go as far next time. We've got some pipi this we can throw down in this corner here. I think we do want pipi to be stocked in the back rooms, though. Probably a good idea. Let's go ahead and try and buy some. As many as we can. Done. We already had that just kind of ready to go in advance. Awesome. Uh, where do we want to stick them? Probably not where the coffee belongs, but like right there. 18 in a box. That's a heap of them. Okay, good. We'll restock this here. And we should be golden. We probably want to expand out the storage by one more level as well so that we have access to the door that goes in between the store and the back rooms. Okay, they're done. What are you doing? I was throwing out my trash. Thank you. What a guy. What an actual guy. My pipi this. Put them there. Uh, we should probably move this fridge then as well, right? We'll have like a frozen goods section just over here. Excellent. Well, this looks significantly less revolting than it did <laughs> like 10 minutes ago. Ah, like we've got an actual supermarket this time. Instead of just a, a real dingy basement where people come to buy piss. Can we get liquor licenses? Can we actually get liquor license? Let's ask. Let's ask our good old friend... 
the game. I don't see any. Honey, tuna, steak, sushi, uh, more coffee, bottled water. Yeah, I'm not seeing any piss here. Oh, here we go. Beer. Beer lager, chips, hummus, vodka. Oh, vodka. Nice. What else we got? We got bleach, cleaner, toilet paper. We got ham pastry and ham. That's cool. For five and a half thousand bucks, we've... My God, there's so much crap in here. What else we got? More beer, more vodka, some whiskey. Ah, how expensive did these get? 65,000 bucks. Are you serious? How the hell are we going to make that? Oh, probably with what we've been doing so far, right? Now, can we expand it out? Let's see. Management. Uh, growth. Yes. No. That's not what we want. We want storage. Growth. We can buy it for 800 buckery booze. We might want to conserve our money for now. Just because we're kind of a little bit short. And I don't want to not pay our employee. 65k to sell whiskey. I know it's insane, isn't it? What a Sigma move, though. What an absolute Sigma move. Do we do it? I think we should just do it. <laughs> Sell some of the world's most highbrow whiskey in the world. No one's going to buy it, obviously, because it's highbrow whiskey, and I live in Dunedin, New Zealand, so... I don't think I've ever seen anybody spend more than 50 bucks on a bottle of whiskey here in New Zealand. Like, it, it just doesn't happen. It's sold, obviously, but no one buys it. Be anything other than, like, graduations. And even then, you're not even supposed to drink those. Oh, our restock is actually working. That's a first. Let's see if we'll put that back if we, uh... We end the day early. Oh, we will. Excellent. Let's see. Good. Okay, so he is restocking everything. We need to get a bunch more coffee, it seems, so that he can restock the... Uh, what is it? Six. But let's get six of these. A lifetime supply. He's going to go over to the road. He's going to pick them up off of the sidewalk, and he's going to stick them in the racks. Or he's going to stick it here first. I mean, I'd, I don't mind my man. You do you. Uh, we've got too many of these chocolates, don't we? Mm, okay, he's going to throw that one out. He's going to take these. He's going to stick them in the storeroom. Yes, perfect. Okay, good. Good, good. We just spent all of our money on coffee. But I think it will be worth it. What's up here? We've got seven peanut butters. Weird. Okay, let's get more peanut butter. We probably need more peanut butter, honestly. Peanut butter! Right here. Two, three, four, five. Done. 150 bucks it's going to cost. Which is absolutely golden. We can afford that eventually. We probably want to remove that and replace it with tea as well, don't we? Keep all of this stocked up with tea at all times. Does he also restock the shop? Yeah, yeah, he does. In fact, he's probably going to come in in just a couple of seconds to restock the peanut butter that that lady just took. Which is kind of actually a bit of a downside. Chocolate butter's too expensive. I don't care. Yeah, here we go. So that's one of the downsides. He kind of like... He'll look for the shelf with the lowest stocked item, and then he'll replace it. But if everything is restocked, he'll delegate kind of like something with one thing missing, and it'll waste lots and lots of time for when it really matters. Like now? Oh, here we go. Here's the Punisher. So when he comes back in now, he's going to be delegating his uh, time between this coffee and this oil. We're about to find out which one he's going to delegate. And now he's also going to be delegating his time between the pipite as well. What did he do? He did the one coffee bag right there instead of the three bottles of oil. A little bit off, isn't it? It is. It is cool, isn't it? it, it that was added to an update last month, and that was what kicked off my desire to actually play this game on stream in the first place. Like, before then, it was just micromanagement, and the restocker was added to the game, but all they did was take the items that were in the storage, they walked them over here, they restocked the shelves, and then they put them back in the storage. They don't pick them up off the ground, which just became really annoying because the core gameplay loop was then essentially you come up to this computer, you buy up to 10 items because you can't buy any more than 10 items for some stupid brain dead reason, probably so that you don't break the game. But why not keep it to like 20 or 30 or something like that? That's not actually that bad. It all just spawns out here anyway. You buy that, you come in here, you pick up the box, you move them into storage one by one sequentially. Repeat. That's it. That was the core gameplay loop. That's how you make lots and lots of money in the game past everything else. But now that we have employees, we can kind of, like, designate our time towards whether or not we have the storage for things or not. So the next thing we should probably be buying, other than the uh, huge amount of peanut butter right here, is probably going to be a, another storeroom shelf just down here. 
And then our responsibility lays in just making sure all of these are fully restocked. And that's it. That's literally it. That guy's walking weird. He is not walking like he's in a suit. He's walking like he crapped himself. What a guy. I hope he's okay. Okay, that guy couldn't find the crispy chippy cereal. That's absolutely fine. Hello there, ma'am. Can I help you? Can I stand on your on your groceries? Would you like me to jump on your oil and peanut butter? I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, I almost got myself stuck again. That was embarrassing. But yeah, that's, that's essentially it. That's the core gameplay loop. And now that we have this, we basically have a fully autonomous system for going as long as we maintain the actual items here. It's a real shame, though. I feel like I should be able to create a minimum storage. Like, a minimum amount of things there. And there should also be some kind of functionality to, I don't know, pay extra and then have the goods shipped straight into the storehouse so that our restocker doesn't have to waste his time doing that as well as restocking the entire store by himself. Let's restock all of these beep, beep, beep. Now, if you beat him to his job, it's not actually that bad. He'll just feel kind of bad, and then he'll just go back to the storeroom and put his, put his crap back. Where are the peepee there? Peepee there? Ah, the rack is full. We have all the... Actually, we can just throw this on the ground, and the stocker guy will... We'll just take it at his leisure as well. Nice. Okay, what else we got? We got the bank loan. We could take out another loan. We could take out another loan. That's the thing. We could take out another loan now that we've actually got the system in place. Not really worth it because everything will destock in one second. Mm. In a way. In a way. But when you've got one person kind of like restocking all of these shelves, it's kind of nice that... Not that you don't have to do it yourself. It gives you a bit of breathing room. That's that's more it. Like, you still have to restock all these shelves yourself. Let's go for $3.20 uh, as a base price for this chocolate. That should be fine. You just have to worry about storage. You have to worry about all of the stuff being available for the restocker to actually dump into the place he needs to dump it into, which just means buying it and then having it on the sidewalk here. He'll do everything else. Where the hell is the sun? Oh, I think it's that way. Just gauging by the, uh, the sun flares. Not getting many customers, though. That's not amazing. I'm just going to put that there. We'll throw that out the door so that he doesn't have to go too far. Okay, so now that we've got the beer essentials kind of coming in waves, we should probably start thinking about kind of branching out into another territory. I kind of like the... not these. Certainly not these. I kind of like the sushi. The sushi is super expensive, and it sells for a truckload as well. So if we get this $2,000 license right here, I think we'll be in a pretty good place. I think we should probably just coast until we're at the good old $1,500 mark. And then we'll take out the other loan. And then with the extra $250, bucks, we will be able to get ourselves some sushi. Enough sushi for these people to always be eternally happy. Like, at all times. Probably get some more big ticket items as well. I suppose the cereals can't hurt. Let's go ahead and just get them. Okay, two-pack cereal, sure, done. And where's the other one? It is here. Get two of those as well. Done. So, how this is going to work is what's my dingle, wherever he went, is going to grab one of these first, and then he's going to go and restock the shelves with it. That should be a full box. So he should not have to take that back to the storeroom. I don't know what they do with the box when they... When, the, when it's kind of like... When it's empty. Or when it's like not full and there's no racks for it. They might find a new place. They might not. I just don't know. All right, good. Perfect. Oh, people are taking that real fast as well. Okay, good. Now, the reason I've got so much tea is because this is a little bit of an exploit as well with the game that I have kind of found in all of my hours playing this game. If you have lots and lots of tea on hand at all times, essentially what happens is someone will come in and buy tea, right? And it doesn't matter if they buy anything else. You probably won't have what they wanted in the first place. And as long as they just have, like, all of these teas to grab at any given time and they're affordable enough, then you will be making the points. You'll, get, you'll be getting experience points, which means you'll be getting levels. Okay, let's go ahead and end the day. Day 28. Okay, we've got staff within a month. That's actually pretty good. 
Like, if I was to gauge the amount of progress that we have made in this game, not only have we got staff, not only have we got a functional system where the NPCs are not breaking repeatedly over and over again, but at the same time, we are looking at that disgusting eyesore that was the previous supermarket. We've got a bit of a redemption arc here. All right, what's this? This is cereal. I'm just going to start sticking these in here because it'll reduce the travel time required for What's My Dingle over here. That's his name, by the way. His name's What's My Dingle. This is peanut butter. Okay, let's throw that in there. <laughs> I threw it at him. <laughs> I am an abusive boss. I am a cruel god. All right, you should put that in there. Awesome. Okay, I love how this is functioning so far. I think he's about to restock the cereal. Which one, though? Okay, good. The one that actually had lots of things removed. Where is he taking this box? I've never known. What are you doing? No, don't loop. Don't loop yourself. Where are you putting that box? Oh my god. Are you serious? You oaf! He just stands there with a the box in his arms! What a piece of garbage! Oh, I suppose the system's not perfect, right? We can probably do it with getting another storage rack, but at the same time, I actually think that if I go over here, we open up the employee screen, the management right here, we can just change this little button right here, use unlabeled racks. Done. So that should alleviate some of the issues. Oh, do we not have labels for something? What are you doing, my dude? Oh, he's placing down coffee. Perfect. Love that. Is that empty? It better damn well be empty. Okay, good. It was empty. Nice. He's now replacing the cereal. Excellent. I kind of... I need to know this guy's limitations. I need to know his limitations. And it seems like not having any room in storage is, in fact, a limitation. I personally... Okay, he's decided that storing cereal in here is a good idea. I feel like... Mm, he could have just thrown it on the ground if there wasn't anywhere to put it. We'll start stocking cereal then, I suppose. We need more of these racks. Nah, we'll save it for the other license, honestly, I think. I feel. I feel that might be a really, really good idea. Sorry, Yintzet just got home? Awesome. Oh, good. I thought he was going to restock this one bag of coffee again. We actually want to take... Oh, we don't have, a, don't have anything to be able to do so, but we want to be able to take these off the shelf. We don't want uh, What's My Dingle to restock here. Please don't restock there. Okay, good. He's just replacing the bags of coffee, which is actually his sole function. So we can actually eventually open up this door as well, which opens into the back of here. I don't know how many upgrades we need to put into the storage to get that. I think it's maybe two or three. But essentially, you can just transition through the store, which is significantly faster than going all the way around. What is this? Peanut butter? Will it fit? Yes. What's my dingle was just lazy. Ah, well. Such is life sometimes. Celery. What are you buying? A single pack of salt? Wow. Money bags. <laughs> look at money bags over here, everybody. Hey, stupid sweater. Uh, look at money bags. Hey, you. Hey, you walking weird. Stone Cold Steve Austin, but with a stick up your ass. Take a look at Mr. Money Bags over here. He just bought a pack of salt. Wow. Hey, beautiful lady. You see this guy right here? He just bought a whole pack of salt. Two dollars. Bougie, huh? Look at this guy go. Hey, identical twin. Guess who this guy is? This guy is Mr. Moneybags. He just bought a whole pack of salt. Can you believe that? No, neither can I. Are you going to hit the button before you cross? No? Okay. <laughs> I literally cannot believe that. Well, I'm glad this guy is... Um, he's only got one box of cereal left. Why? Why, why is he putting one box of cereal... <laughs> Oh, oh, this guy. He, he's dumb as a brick. Gotta be said, he is dumb as a brick. There's only like one bottle in there. Oh, don't put that back. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so frustrating. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Just throw it on the ground. It's not that hard. Please. I beg you. Okay, that was good. I thought he was about to restock two pipettes instead of the uh, tea over here. 
Oh, they're buying chocolate. Nice. We don't want this one here to be chocolate. I think this will be like the sweets section, which is why we've have colored it fair response red. We've colored it fair response red so that we can, we can tell everybody, hey, it's not good for you. It's not good for you. They're sweets. It's all candy. It's all bad for you. It's bad for your teeth. It's bad for your guts. It's bad. It's good for the soul. Definitely good for the soul. Oh, apparently that chocolate bar's too expensive. For Captain Moneybags over here buying two boxes of cereal. Why does this guy look like that? There's something really off about this guy's character. Is it the width of his of his torso against his waist? Maybe? I feel like it is. I feel like somebody actually like modeled two halves of his body. Like the bottom half is unusually and uncharacteristically skinny. It's also in much higher quality than the top half, which is just Quasimodo levels of weird. And he's gone. And he's gone. Okay. Good to know. Oh, we've kind of uh, automated ourselves out of a job. What the hell? Yeah, it is a bit what the hell, isn't it? That was the model that I keep pointing out in this entire area. Do you want me to jump on your salt, sir? This guy got like six jars of salt. He spent 33 bucks on salt. Wow. Oh, we're level 16 now as well, by the way. That's awesome. I don't know if What's My Dingle knows he's also supposed to be... Did he seriously just restock that one oil instead of... Instead of the yogurt? You better be getting yogurt. What did you get? Salt! The hell he... No, that's not salt. I think tea? No. Oil! What? Why? What is this logic? Read for the lowest, oh my god, just scan for the lowest build up rack and then do that one. Why are you taking multiple boxes to the oil? It's not that important. A single box of cereal. Dude, see, this yogurt, there is yogurt in the storeroom ready to be processed. What are you doing? It's right here. You dick. You dingbat. Okay, that's his new name. His new name is Dingbat. Don't you walk that back. Okay, good. I thought there'd be like one left in it. He was like, oh, I'm going to keep this one. Olive oil is best. That's why. Yeah, but come on. Come on. There's only so much of a gap that olive oil can fulfill in compared to yogurt. Flavored strawberry single serve yogurt. There is only so much olive oil you can compare to when it comes to frozen yogurt. Oh, they can't find candy. And they're pissed off about it, too. All right, let's see if this guy is actually... Oh, here we go. This looks like yogurt. Let's watch this. This should be satisfying to see. Here we go. Woo! We're not doing that! Woo! Nice! I love that. Okay, is that all? No, there's still more in there. Good. Okay. So we got 673 buckery booze after today, and we are still in a pretty damn good spot, honestly. What do we lose? We made 580. That is that is really good, actually. Oh, market price has changed for crispy chibi cereal. Let's go ahead and buy a bunch of it then. Why not? This one. Oh, no, that's actually not the good one. That's, that's the one we don't want. Okay, let's get four boxes of this and also four boxes of the other cereal because they are kind of big ticket items. Done. Purchase. Awesome. Let's go ahead and start stacking these into the shelves up top here. This one goes here. What are you doing? There we go. One there. One goes here. I'm saving him the time of doing it himself. We can also just leave these out on the street and he'll just grab them as he needs them. It's not too much of a worry. Okay, so the chocolate here kind of has to go actually we should probably get some candy some of the boom boom chocolate right oh we're still closed that's embarrassing i intended to open i intended to open the store but unfortunately uh my stupid dumb man brain got in the way Ooh, look at that that right there is personality it's personality if i ever saw one did you know you can replace an entire personality with a tramp stamp it's done it's doable see she's done it 
She has no personality, and yet she has a tramp stamp, and everyone forgives her. Good. I wonder if she makes good choices. Not because she got a tattoo, but just, like... You know, tramp stamp is a very specific kind of tattoo. It's one of those declarations that say, hey, I'm not here to make good decisions. Oh, wow. Really, man? Oh, my God. This guy's going nowhere until we sell all of the Chocopic cereal. Oh, well, this lady's going to buy it all. What is that? Helen Mirren? No. Oh, apparently, it's too expensive. Maybe that's why they're still on the shelf. Oh, my God, these are expensive. Sorry, really unexpensive. They cost almost nothing. Although I'm saying that, a $3 chocolate bar, you'd probably find that in New Zealand, probably not many other countries. Couldn't find eggs? What do you mean? We don't sell eggs. Just look around. The racks are full in storage? Yes, they are. Indeed, they are. Okay, I hope this lady's getting some chocolate with her shop. What about this guy? Are you getting any chocolate with your shop, sir? Yes. No, get more. Oh. Floppers. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go into the market. We're going to get some of that chocolate, some of that delicious chocolate. Where is it? This one right here. We're going to buy it right now, and we're going to throw it right down here. And while this guy stands there with his thumb up his ass, we are going to work for a living. Let's keep... Let's keep this one as kind of like the candy area. Excellent. And I want to throw this on the ground. Nice. And then we get rid of that label right there. Perfect. Excellent. We need to put something here, though. I think the little candies would probably be a good idea. Let's go ahead and just buy more of them. I mean, there's only so much that we can really do here now. Let's get four packs of them. Done. 100 buckery booze. There they are. Oh, they stack easy, too. That's good to know. Okay, so we're starting to work for a living, unfortunately. We probably... Is there any way free on the single shelf that we have? No, we're going to have to get a new one. Okay, that's fine. This guy is probably going to give us exactly what we need, right? He's got so many items on his belt. Jesus. Wow. Look at that. How much is that going to be? 40 bucks. That was not actually that great. This guy's getting three bags of coffee, though. That's insane. That's a lot of coffee. All right, the Punisher is queued up here waiting. Racks are full in storage, we know. That was 40 bucks again. Wow, these people are actually starting to buy some good stuff. This lady is tiny. And she's wearing high heels. Good God. What is she, like three foot? I think she heard that. Embarrassing. Okay, that guy couldn't find eggs. That's because we don't stack them. We probably need to get ourselves another rack, don't we? Let's go ahead and just do that. We'll go into the furnitures and we'll get ourselves a... Where are you? Tall rack right here. Done. Let's purchase that. Get this in here and ready for storage. This guy better not put it on the rack. Good. Okay, good. Let's set... No, do not. Do not. That guy is such an ass. Wow. All right, let's start stacking these up here because that's where we want them. We also want some chocolates. I don't think we got any... Ah, uh, we got spears over here. We can use this to fill up this rack right here. We don't want to stock too many of these huge box things, which is why I was a little apprehensive as to whether or not we should actually be stocking the cereal in the first place. I right, don't know what this guy is pulling out. But it could be good, could be bad. All right, let's get more of those chocolates and some more of the candies right at the bottom of the list, I think would be a good idea. Products? Yes. So, bun papa, we should probably get a bunch of these. Maybe, like, six? I don't know how big they come. Fifteen in a single pack. That is insane, actually. That is really, really good. Let's make sure we don't already have a heap of them. Bun papa? Where are they? It doesn't look like it. What are these red boxes? The red boxes right at the bottom of the screen as well are... Okay, okay, we've got pipi -pi So we need bun papa. And we also need chocolate bars. Yes. I don't know if we can do both of them at once. Let's go ahead and only get six at a time. I'm going to buy this. We've got 58 bucks. And we need 85 because we need a couple of bucks for shipping as well. I hear someone scanning. It's literally a matter of time before we get it. 
And... This guy's buying a lot of stuff. Hopefully it's not the whole rack of salt. There we go. Done. Awesome. Let's start shoving these on the racks. Let's go ahead and stick this one here. Good. What's this? This is more bin pa Good. And this is more cereal. This is chocolat. Excellent. Hello there, Bruce. Bold of you to only have a single name on YouTube. You don't see that too much. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll get this here. Chocolate in the racks. This chocolate sacks really well, actually. I'm very happy with the chocolate itself. Uh, it's getting a little bit late, but we're probably still in a very, very good place. Whoops. <laughs> I was putting that in the wrong area. Let's go ahead and drop that the one there. I know it's getting kind of dark and dingy, and it looks like we're about to have a, a crime imposed on us, but this is our store, right? We impose the crimes, and the crimes being our prices. They are extortionary. My God, we have some absolutely terrible prices. How are you? I'm doing very, very well. Thank you so much for asking. We have finally made a supermarket. I am very happy because what we had here maybe an hour ago was a gigantic pile of trash in this corner that probably went out from that corner to about here. And we had to wall it off with all of the, our belongings. The AI kept breaking. We fixed it. And now at this point, we're pretty good. We've just finished the day as well. Awesome. Uh, I've also got some bad news. I'm hopping off the stream. So, everybody who joined, thank you all so, so much. Thanks to the game getting you stuck. Yes, I wanted to move all of the boxes into the trash, but the game uh, forced me to get stuck and I didn't really have a choice. I'm going to save. I'm going to quit to the desktop. I'm out of time for the stream. The store is finally clean because of it. I know, right? It didn't get me stuck necessarily. We picked up an item and then it refused to allow us to place it back down. So I am going to be streaming at the same time tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming every weekday. That's kind of uh, my deal. I am off. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. This is going to be for everybody watching the VODs at home. Right up here, you're going to find a playlist for Supermarket Simulator that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community as soon as you want. That's how social networking works. And of course, until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.